All right. We are live. That's right. Oh, shit. I almost spilt water. I almost spilt water directly on the PlayStation 5. I would have been so fucking upset. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Damn it, God. Wow. <laughs> That's a way to start a stream. Fuck. <laughs> I almost... I almost just dumped a whole like mug of water all over the PS5. That's fucked. That's fucked up. I would've been so upset. All right. Well, with that intro, <laughs> we are back with more Ghost of Tsushima. I hope my fucking, hope my audio is actually running. It is okay. Just making sure. Making sure. Let me fix my mic up real quick. Put it in the right possession. Possession. Position. And then my headset's a little bit on the low side right now. Huh. So, uh, let me see. Up the audio on the recording for the game volume. I think that should be good. Now, it's been like, what, a week since we played Ghost of Tsushima? So, I honestly don't remember much. I think where I last left off, I, um... I think, uh, I think we helped out the Ronin. We unlocked the Ronin attire as well. We saved some people from, like, imprisonment. But, yeah, okay, this is definitely where we left off at. Alright, um, didn't I upgrade something last time? I think I upgraded something last time. And, apparently, the, uh... Apparently the mongrels were, like, feeding them and shit. I don't... I don't... I don't remember much. <laughs> it's been a whole week. It's been a whole week, and in between that, it's been, like, a little bit of Vampire Masquerade. We played Resident Evil. We played the Resident Evil demo for Village. We, uh, did Corpse Party... What else did I do within the span of that week as I run around in circles? Uh, I also played some games on my own off time. Like Final Fantasy X. <laughs> Man, I, I forgot how fucking extra Final Fantasy X was. There's just so much. I forgot all the controls. Oh my god. Alright, well. Don't I have like a dodge roll? Yes, I do. Alright. This is the water stance, I think. That's block. This is the switch. Stone stance. Alright. I like the water stance. Now. What were we doing last time? Survivor camps. We had... Tales of Tsushima. A finished business. Oh yeah, so I, I think I was gonna go see this guy. Is he the furthest away? I think he's the furthest away. How far is this boy? It's pretty far. I can fast travel over here. Wait, can't you fast travel to like fox dens and shit? You can. You can fast travel to like any fucking location. Well, not any location, but like any noticeable landmark you've been to. That's cool. Hey, Shark, how's it going? Hopefully I don't... Oh, man, I'll fuck this up. Uh, how do I call Kage? Right on the D-pad. Come here, you bullshit horse. Speaking of horses. Um, next week is gonna be the beginning of February, which means the anniversary of Zelda. And I am excited. I really hope Nintendo does something and doesn't forget it like Mart. That's not how you gallop. That's not how you gallop on the horse. That stressful last days. <laughs> for no reason. Um, I hope Nintendo does something for Zelda. I hope they don't forget it like they did with Mario. They didn't really forget Mario, but I mean, like, they definitely, uh, how the fuck do I speed up? There we go. They definitely, um, they took their sweet ass time with that. And it's like, it's like, it's Mario. People won't get too mad about it, right? Because, I mean,. I'm not gonna say every Mario's game's the same, but like, you know, you jump man. Mario Jump Man, that's his full name. 
That's what you do. You're a man and you jump. But Zelda. Now come on. Now come on. Zelda's a legacy. For every like adventure game ever. Which is basically almost every game ever now. What the fuck? What the fuck is an adventure game? I'm going the wrong way. I forgot. You gotta follow the wind. I told you where to go. <laughs> Mario Jumpman. I mean... I wish... I was about to say I wish that they did another Mario RPG, but they just did Origami King, didn't they? Damn. I was hyped for Origami King coming out, and I didn't buy it. <laughs> I didn't buy it. I gotta remember to buy that. It's just... It's so... It's so annoying buying games for the Switch. Especially the way I'm doing it, because I want it to all be digital, because I'm sick of carrying fucking a million cartridges with me. But, like... Nintendo don't... They don't drop prices. They're a pain in the ass. <laughs> like, I waited so... Like... First of all, it's been like 10 years since fucking Skyward Sword came out. Let's just put that in perspective. Make you feel old. God damn it. Remember how hyped that was? And then the game came out and everyone was like, oh, it was terrible. But like... I'm, <laughs> I lost my train of thought. I got mad about Skyward Sword. I lost my train of thought. I'm honorable. Oh, that guy's getting bodied. Oh, you shooting at me, you son of a bitch? How do I... Can I have, like, a dash strike or something? How do I do it? Oh, that. Fucking honorable. <laughs> Skyward Sword was your first game. Oh, now I remember what I was going to say about Skyward Sword. Yeah, so... I mean, if you love Skyward Sword, you love... Like... Trust me, don't get me wrong, I love the beginning of Skyward Sword, even though people hate it, because I just love Tomboy Zelda. I want more Tomboy Zelda. That's the best Zelda ever. And then they fucked it up, because later on she's all, she be, she basically becomes a Shrine Maiden later on, which kind of sucks. But, I remember what I was going to say. So, Skyward Sword came out, and I was like, man, I want that. And then I was like, but you gotta get a Wii Motion Plus, and all that bullshit, and you know. Gladly, one of my friends gave me his, like, uh, controller that had Wii Motion Plus built into it. But then I was all like, I'll wait, I'll wait for a price drop on it. Fucking fast forward to, like, two years after the Wii U came out. And then I'm like, Skyward Sword is still fucking $60? What the hell? <laughs> People don't even like this game. Oh, I tried to jump on him. Stop running from my sword. Now, how do I heal myself? <sighs> ah, bitch. Wrong way, wrong way, come on. Come on, Jen. Wrong way. Ah, oh, fuck. How do I, how do I throw the kunai? I don't have kunai. Shit. That's the wrong button, what is it? This one. Oh, that damages me too. Oh, fuck. Bring it on, bitch. Alright, goddamn. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> they were fucking me up. Alright, but, uh, yeah, I was shocked as shit. I was like, how the fuck is Scarlet Sword still like 70? I mean, 70. Still uh, $60. Like, I thought that was crazy. I remember walking into fucking GameStop one time, and I guess it was, uh, when, when the, 
first version of Xenoblade was still rare because back in the day, what, what was what was it called? Operation Rainfall or whatever was the fucking petition for people to get uh, the last story, Xenoblade, and what was the other? Pandora's Tower. I think that was the games that people did to get like over here in the West. It's like Operation Wayne Rainfall. Sign the fucking petition. Get them over here. And then Nintendo was like, fuck you for years. But then I think I saw a copy of Xenoblade, and it was rare at the time, and I turned my head, and it said like $170. I went, that game is not worth that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> and then I think I went back like a year or two later, and then I saw Xenoblade for the Wii for like 60 and I was like, fuck it, I'll buy it. And I bought it, and I played it. I was mad at first, though. Not gonna lie. I was kind of upset. I was like, it has auto-attack bullshit? What the hell is it? And then I played more of it. And I was like, this is one of the best games ever. It's so good. Then they did the 3DS version, which I didn't buy, but I bought a new 3DS. Played Smash Brothers, it was cool. And then they got the definitive edition, which I'm so happy about. Where the fuck is this guy? No, put, put it directly on him. There we go. Where the hell is he? This way? There he is. Yeah, it was like a hundred and it said a hundred sixty-nine ninety-nine, and I was like, what the fuck? Genji, what Lose my you mind. Something has gone very that was back when it was like still rare. What did you do? Nothing. The Mongols have taken all our food. Rice, millet, fish, anything they can lay hands on. We're starving. Not the rice. This isn't your farm. I have been thinking about what you said, and I'm trying to help the farmers here. I feel like you're playing me. Where are the Mongols camped? Who knows? They show up every few days and pick up the food and cart it away. I could ambush them. It's not that simple. They've taken hostages. If we don't I feel like this guy is playing me. You see how? You see how like dramatic he's being? Way to find them. He's like crying and tearing up. He's like, they just, they took the food and, and they, they carted away. I feel like he's playing me. I'm getting played here. I'm like $40 in a game and I have to mourn my wallet. Dude, fucking right now, I cry. <laughs> I cry every time I see a game and I'm like, I cry every time I buy food. And I'm like, oh man, I could have bought like a $20 game or something. Damn. Scavenging abandoned homes, fishing and hunting. Just I mean, I'd rather have the way it is now than how it was a long time ago. Uh, what, what brought you here? You here in the first place? Once the Where, like, a you, fucking SNES cartridge was, like, $170 or some shit, depending on what games it was. They're like, oh, it has the, it has the F FS chip. Mode 7, bitch. Final Fantasy 7, don't you love it? That's not Final Fantasy 7. What is it? Final Fantasy 6? 6. I think it's 6 that has Mode 7. It's like, don't you love it? I'm like, yeah, I do. My bad, not Final Fantasy 6. Final Fantasy 3 in the US. Final Fantasy 3. The sixth one. <laughs> what? Very roomy. It could hold a heavily armed heroic samurai. what would fit better? Are you trying to? Are you trying to put me in a barrel like I'm fucking Toon Link? Because it works. <laughs> because it works. He's like, shut up, get in the barrel. He's a Donkey Kong your ass in there. I love how every time we talk about mongrels, it's just like, man, the mongrels were like fucking savages and shit. Fucking taking over territories and shit. But now, nowadays, if you talk about mongrels, you're like, yo, wanna head to that mongrel diner over there? Eat some Mongolian beef. Delicious. You can't do this. Eh. It, it's eatable. It's edible. I mean, you go to a Mongolian restaurant, you're just like, get all the meat. 
slap it on their meat skewers, eat it off a stick. I fucking hate, I hate shish kebabs and shit. <laughs> I can't, I can't stand eating ribs and shit. It's so messy. They're like, just stick your face in the sauce. Get it all up in your beard and shit. Get it all over everywhere. I'm fucking honorable, motherfucker. The most honorable way. So, apparently, I was told, I'm not sure if I said this last time, but I was told that there's no morality system in this fucking game, so you can just do any playstyle you want, which kind of sucks, because I, I think it would be kind of fun to, like, fight the temptation to not just slice a motherfucker's throat, but, like, but at the same time, it, it's cool. It's cool, because, like, you're not limited in your playstyle, but I wish, I wish, right? It's like, you gotta work to be honorable. It's like cooking a turkey, right? Fucking, um... You season it up honorably, but when no one's looking... When no one's looking, you get under the skin. A little bit of dishonor in there. Nobody knows, it's a secret. You keep it secret, you keep it safe. Ah, oh, fuck! You bitch! Guys are really like fucking me up. Come here, motherfucker. Where did you go? Shooting fucking bows and arrows at me. Yeah, that's right. He's shooting bows at me. Bitch. Ah. Oh. Damn. Honorable. Fuck you looking at horse. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I got a little bit carried away. My bad. You just look kind of badass, you know? A little bit scary. You got, like, a skull paint thing on your fucking snout. <laughs> <laughs> Take all the food off. Eat it straight off. Yeah. Yeah, you could. I mean, you could. But, I mean, like, then people start judging you, right? <laughs> it doesn't matter if people judge you how you... Well, it does, kind of. Because if I see you eating pizza with a fucking fork and knife, I'm going to kick your ass. But, I swear, Gordon Ramsay better not let me catch him in the street. He better not. I saw that man eat, I saw him scrape cheese and meat off the fucking pizza with a knife and fork. He didn't even eat the crust. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick his ass when I see him. I better not see that man in real life. I'm gonna hurt him. Explain yourself. Animal. I might have sold the Mongols food, but given them straw and wood chips and stuff. Ah, I was played. To save the farmer's food. You didn't think the Mongols would notice? Not so quickly. All of a sudden, it was punishment, hostages. Get I said he was going to play me. We kill you. I was wrong to encourage you to make yourself useful. What? No, no. No, you weren't wrong, Lord Takai. I can do good. I he reminds me of the kid from Polar Express. Practice. You know, when they're in the... When they're in the, um... <laughs> When they're in the uh, toy shop and they're looking at the cameras and the kid's like, I didn't do it. <laughs> they're like, ah, fuck it. It's Christmas. Let them let it slide. Motherfucker ate some of Santa's cookies. The little brother eats pizza upside down and bet what? Yeah, you're going to have to beat him up. You're going to have to hurt him. You're gonna have every the moment the moment you open a pizza box and he flips it backwards and he starts eating the crust You have the full authority to jump across the table and smack the holy grail out of him Yeah, I don't, I don't care if he, I don't care if he's a baby 
if he's a baby, a cripple, <laughs> or someone's grandfather. I still knock his lights out. <laughs> I'm sorry. He got crippled. I couldn't think of another one to say. I had to. Is that offensive? Is the word cripple offensive? Because I don't, I don't know if it's offensive or not. I would, I would assume, like, maybe it is, I guess, but I mean, like, I would assume that calling someone disabled is more offensive than saying crippled. Like, because saying disabled is like, you're just not able to do things. You're not able, you're unable, right? I feel like that's more offensive. Also, where the fuck is this bird taking me? You better lead me to a goddamn hot spring. Is that a hot spring? I was joking. Oh my god. I love you, bird. You're the best. Ah, uh, what's a... What's a, uh... What's a Ghost of Shishima stream without seeing the most honorable ass known to mankind? You beautiful giant fuck. That's a big ass bird. Well, yeah, I wouldn't call someone in a wheelchair crippled. I think that one's a little bit too far. That one's definitely a little bit too far. Let's reflect on Sensei Ishikawa or Ryuza. Man, fuck Ishikawa. He's a bitch. He used to get into so much trouble. Stealing sake. Dressing up like maidens. Wait, dressing up like maidens? Wait, what? Jin, you dressed up like a maiden? Stay away from the demon child Yuzel. He said we used to get in so much trouble. Stealing wine. Cross-dressing. <laughs> like, wait, what? Go back to that one. What happened? Let me know more about the cross-dressing. I'm interested. What the hell is this over here? On that, on that note, right, with, like, crippled, disabled and stuff, is handicapped offensive? Like, what, what is the right term to use? Like, for someone in a wheelchair, I, I can just say paraplegic. I don't think that's offensive at all. That's just, like, a, that's just a scientific term, right? <laughs> and I mean, like, listen, just because you're paraplegic don't mean that you ain't cool. Did you eat steel ball run? My motherfucker was doing flips and shit, shooting his fingernails at people. It's crazy. Riding horses. Alright. Now where the fuck is Oh, is there no other tail for him yet? Okay, I guess I'll have to come back to him or something, right? Alright. A place to call home, the other side of honor. I wanna do that. How far is that? That sounds cool. Handicap is not offensive. Hmm. I just, I don't know, because in the way I see the word handicap, right, is I've always seen it in, like, you know, competitions and shit. It's like, oh, I'll give you a handicap. It's like, it feels like, it feels like if I say that, I'm taking pity on someone. And the last thing I want to give anyone is pity. You want to give them sympathy, not pity. Right? You know, unless unless they a fool. Cause therefore you can then pity the fool. I had to, it was a joke, it was a joke, it was there, it was low hanging fruit. Who's gonna pick it? Fucking Adam and Eve? Nope, it's gonna be me. See you didn't realize I was the snake. I was there the whole time. It was me, I was like, pick the fruit, do it, eat it. You won't. <laughs> he's like he's like, Word? Word to God, put that on God. I won't eat this fruit. I was like, you won't. I put it on God. <laughs> and he fucked up. He ate the fruit. Temptation. <laughs> Imagine if that's how it really happened. Just a snake rolls up. He's like, he's like, bro, you won't eat that fruit. He's, and they're both like, I'll eat the fruit. And he's like, or put that on God. <laughs> put it on God. You won't eat it. 
I have no idea where the fuck that bird went, by the way. I still hear it. Oh, there it is. Where are you trying to lead me? If you lead me back up this fucking mountain, I'm turning around. I'm letting you know right now. Alright, alright. Okay. Okay. I better not see I better not see you go over that rock. You bet alright, goodbye. You dragged it. Bye, bird. Get your little Tweety Bird ass out of here. <laughs> I'm tired of you. Shut the hell up. Where's Kage? Why am I running? I think by default my brain just goes run. Run through the woods. Because every game is like, use your horse, and I'm so tired of fucking horseback riding. Give me something more fun, right? Give me, give me something a little bit more fun to do. Is it you I talked to? No, I talked to whoever's inside. Okay. Huh. I thought you were Lord Jin Loku, but you're another samurai. Welcome, my lord. Well, I feel welcome. Don't mind my bloody headband. Another samurai? You haven't heard of Lord Jin Loku? He's a legendary samurai. I'd like to meet him. When oh yeah? Time? If you're so legendary, how come I don't know? Join us for dinner. Perhaps he'll share one of his grand stories with you. Why do I feel like these people are cannibals? The moment you walk in someone's house, they're like, oh. Uh, I'm back from my dangerous mission. Don't worry, I'm unharmed. I feel like you're full of shit. I wasn't expecting a visitor. We're happy to have But you got cool ass armor though. Thank you. I didn't realize any other samurai had survived. It was a fierce battle, wasn't it? The beaches of Komatsu ran red with blood that terrible day. We what terrible day? Komodo. <laughs> of course. Forget yeah, you're a liar. I'm okay. Tired from a long ride. Please have Dude me. walks up, he's all like, Women, I am home from my dangerous mission. What mission? Who's giving you missions? If I'm not giving you missions, who else is giving you Where are you getting missions from? I'm the only samurai left, lion ass. How dare you? How much do you know of Lord Jinoku? He tells us everything. If it wasn't for him, we would have lost the whole island. When you met him, uh huh. He did everything to save Tsushima except for his horse. Is that a stable? My bat can wait. I'm gonna kill his horse. Look at his horse. I'm gonna murder his horse. <laughs> Be like, oh yeah, he didn't give up his horse? Well, he did now. <laughs> hey there, horsey. A farm horse. Never seen battle. Oh, so a dude's like, he just, he just went to the battlefield, picked up some armor, said, I'm a samurai. I did it. You know, I, I don't think it's great to sit there and pose as a samurai when, uh, oh wait, oh, I still gotta investigate the stables? Oh shit. It doesn't sound like a good idea to to pretend to be a samurai when there's literal fucking invaders on your island. I know this saddle. And they're looking for the samurais. The moment they walk up here, they're like, heard a samurai was here. So, uh, what was good with the code of honor? And you go, I'm not a samurai. They're like, ah, but you said you were. See? And then they kill him. Where is Jinoku? He left quickly after you went to the bath. He must have been important. I'll find him. He ran for the fucking woods. Almost slit his throat. How dare he tamper with my honor. Wind. Show me the way. I said show me the way, Wind. Come on, Wind. Alright, well I guess the wind won't show me the way. The one, the one thing, one time you asked Mufasa to help you, he's just like, nah, man, I'm good. He's like, I won't. Oh, there we go. Speaking of devil, Mufasa, you bitch. I hope when I die, I become the wind so I can start fucking with people. Just start blowing paper bags in their face. I'm like, my bad. 
What the fuck? Did I walk past the dude or something? Is he over here? Come on, Wend, help me out here. Oh, there he is. Couldn't see him. Ready for me to kill you? Don't you run! Don't you run! You son of a bitch! Stop running, you fool! You're only gonna make it worse for yourself. Before it's too late. This guy, he took on full spread. He said, oh shit! He found me! Oh god, am I running out of breath? Come on, man! I don't want to kill you. Stop! All right, you weren't hurting anyone. I'll, I'll, I'll deal with you in a second. I gotta take my bath first. It's honorable. Oh, I can't. I'm in the middle of a pursuit, so they won't let me. God damn it! I'll come back for that. I need that. And you get back here. Where the fuck did he go? Did he run to this camp? He's not hiding in the camp, is he? Oh no, he's up there. Really trying to take it. Yeah, I'm trying. That's a health upgrade. You crazy? Um. Alright. <laughs> Just like stared at him for a while. That's not a smart idea. Yes. It's the only way. If that's your wish, I accept. I'm gonna kill you, dude. Listen, just just don't pretend to be a samurai. You can just live. Oh my fucking god, dude! You're really, you're really not doing the right thing here. This is a huge mistake. All right, you sealed your fate, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> there you go. All right. I thought I was about to just slice down an innocent man. I was just trying to survive. You're impersonating a samurai and bringing dishonor to the name. And you're taking advantage of those women. I know. Please, my lord, let me live. I'll never go back there again. Leave. And if I ever see you wearing that armor again, we will finish our duel. Damn, dude. He ain't even take his horse. He just full on sprinted. <laughs> he, had the, he had the last words. He's like, he's like, what's well, not hurting anyone? <laughs> All right. Shit. Now, where was the fucking hot spring? It was over here, right? Or is this towards the, that's towards the camp. Trying to remember, was it up the mountain? Is it over here? Is this it? Damn it. <sighs> the hell's that smoke over there? It's like a fire or something, I think. I'm gonna be so mad if I can't find this fucking hot spring. Oh, wait. Is that it right there? Oh, beautiful hot spring! Yeah! I could have killed myself. But I didn't. It was cool. It was worth it. Most honorable ass known to mankind. What are we gonna reminisce about? Exhaustion, the fallen samurai. I lost good friends on the beach. Oh no, not Hongo. Forget what you sacrificed for our home. What if he just sat there <laughs> for style points? What if he sat there and he's like, I lost good friends that day, and then he went Ling, Yao, Po, and start naming the guys from Mulan? <laughs> Be like, what? <laughs> Especially Po. That man like chicken. 
I have no idea why I started swinging my sword. I just did it. I just pressed triangle button for no reason. Um, I want to check out the other... Yeah, that smoke source, because that might be another hot spring. I want to check that out. Then I'll head back to uh, the town and tell the women. <laughs> He's like, stop. Ow. That hurt. Oh, uh, so it's not a hot wait? Is it just like a campfire? Is this where I'm supposed to be going anyways? Oh, it is. Okay. So it's just a campfire, right? Hmm. Why, hello, women. The true samurai is back. Welcome back. Jinroku wasn't the man you thought. He wasn't a samurai at all. Ah, he told you the truth. You knew he was lying? He seemed harmless, and we enjoy having him around. I hope you didn't kill him. He's alive, but he won't be coming back. I'll tell the others he left on an important mission. We were fine without him. We will be again. Wait. What? <laughs> I'm a little confused there. They're like, yeah, he was fun to have around, and we were fine without him. Like, so you, you, you don't want him here? You you didn't want him here? Or you wanted him here? What? You ladies are confusing as fuck. Alright. What? What the fuck? Did I just bow? How the fuck did I do? Oh. In my flute. The fir I'm not gonna lie, the first couple of notes, I thought he was about to start playing the fucking, like, the song from Naruto. I'm like, what? I'm like, what are you doing? Stop it. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Tales of Shishima. Place called home, done finished business. I was in with Fritanka from, uh, Osmo uh, Bay. Ugh, can't read. Eh. Let's see what that's about. That is all the fuck the way over there. Oh my god. Where I guess I can fast travel from here. Oh wait, no. Here. More of a straight line. You gotta have the flute. I remember when they were announcing the game and they had like the dude at E3 just playing the flute <laughs> for fucking for like a good whole like what four minutes and I'm like, it's nice, but come on man. Ain't nobody here for a concert. Do the concert later. Let the concert be the treat for the people who went there to see it live. Come here, Kage. I need you. I keep forgetting you exist. Ride my horse. Ride like the wind. really hope I'm going the right way. <laughs> Come on, Wynn, tell me. I am going the right way. Cool. So, you know what, uh... Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, it's a fox. Can I... Is there anything special with the tree? It has, like, a little... Has like a little hidey hole on it. Like, what the hell? A bird wants me to go one way, the fox wants me to go the other. I'm gonna follow the fox first. I love the little cute fox noises he's making. Huh! Honor the shrine? Damn, damn right I will. Thank you, Foxy. Alright, now where the hell did the bird want me to go to? No! Ah! 
the hell, man? I think the bird wanted me to go up the mountain. Oh, there he is. Where are you leading me, bird? Oh, another? A weapon. Uh, Mamushi Venom. Hmm. Look how big that bird is. That's a big ass bird. Alright. Kage, where you at? You fucking useless horse. There we go. Come on, Kage, really? He's like, you see that? It's like two feet. Not even two feet. Oh, wait, I gotta turn around. I gotta go this way. Am I going down the mountain? Or just pass it? This is a golden ass tree. Oh! I knew that was gonna happen. Bitch ass horse. So, I lost my train of thought out. Oh, no, 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 no. Almost killed us both. It's a fucking steep ass hill. Um, what I was gonna say is that I never... I never had the chance to watch the movie Kubo and the Two Strings. I think that's what it's called. I always wanted to. They had it on, like, Netflix. I'm not sure if they still got it on there, though. I think they took it off. I heard it was really good, too. Was, uh... What was... Alright. I'm, I'm trying to, like, remember off the top of my head all, about, like, very little... Oh, there's a standoff. I'm trying to remember, like, the very little that I've seen in trailers. Do Kubo have, like, one eye? Motherfucker. Oh, he almost got me. Got rid of the two biggest dudes first. Bring it on, bitch. Just fucked him up. So he did have one eye. Stop motion is so good. <laughs> we need more stop motion shit. That's why I like, um... I mean, I said it last time, but... Just take his supplies off of him while he's crawling on the ground. I will end his suffering honorably. Um, this is not my horse, but I'm taking it. What the hell is I saying? Yeah, I think I said it last time that I like uh, one of my favorite movies is Nightmare Before Christmas, and just the stop motion in that is so good. I love it. It's great. It's a good movie. It's a good movie that makes absolutely no fucking sense. And that's what happens when you make a movie based on a short po poem. <laughs> oh, somewhere deep inside of these bones, an emptiness began to grow. Oh, I can't pray there? Damn. There's something out there far from my home. A longing that I've never known. Jax Lamont is so good. I love it. We're going into Azimo Bay. Help us fight. That range? My range is terrible. We'll endanger everyone inside if you start a fight. I suck at singing. It's bad. Our elders, punishing them for a prisoner who escaped. Your elders had nothing to do with that. Where are they being held? One's near the shrine. We think the other two are in the houses. How were you planning to get in? The gates are sealed shut. There's an opening in the fence by the main gate. We used it as children to sneak out. I'll use it to sneak in. Stay out of sight until I've opened all the gates. Thank you, my lord. So what am I doing? Am I supposed to be stealthy or can I just walk up there and fuck him up? I'd like to just fuck him up. <clears throat> so what was Kubo about? What was like? It's what was his main goal? I think, if memory serves me correct, I knew he had like two kind of sidekicks. 
it was Kubo. I think one of them was like a monkey or something like that. It's been a while since then. Okay. I mean, if someone were to ask me, hey man, what, what was Coraline about? I'd be like, bro, honestly, I can't tell you. I think she just wanted to get away from home. And she got trapped in, in the fucked world. She went to Silent Hill. I don't want to hurt you. Mommy, make me. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, that scared the shit out of me. The dad and fucking, uh, the button dad. Especially when he's, like, drooling and shit. <laughs> and I was like, oh! It was all in 3D, too. Saw it on Blu-ray. It, yeah, it, it's such a creepy movie. It's so good, though. But it's so weird because, uh... The way they advertise the shit out that movie is they literally, they're just like, oh, come bring your kids. It's a story about Coraline. And you're like, oh, man, I want to watch that. It looks nice. And after that, it's like, everyone's getting fucked. There's dead children. I don't even know why I was being stealthy. I'm honorable, bitch. Oh, what? Got you, motherfucker. Bring it on. Ah. Oh, fuck. Oh, come on. Alright, one more leader. The mod transforms into the spider. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. To be honest, I I didn't even know it was supposed to be a spider. I just remember her having like creepy shit. Mom was cool though. She was a cool mom. So her thing her thing was that she eats children, right? Like, that was just the whole thing. She was just... Ba basically, it was just a more fucked up version of Hansel and Gretel. Without Hansel and only Gretel. Oh, man, that reminds me. Wasn't there, like, a live-action Hansel and Gretel? And, like, their best friend was, like, a genie or some shit? I don't remember. He's all like, hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more, no more. <laughs> I used to have that on like on, like, DVD or VHS or something like that. I remember watching it as a kid. It was like... It was like this pimping ass dude. And there's like an ogre or something. And then he killed the witch at the end. Motherfucker. Where? Where? Where are you? Ah! Hmm. That was my fault. And that was your fault. honorable fucking samurai known to mankind there's no hostages right oh shit yep there are hostages oh fuck me I'm honorable what's up bitch how'd you not hear that oh this is how we win. This is how we win. This is how we do it. It's Friday night. Such a good song that nobody will ever forget. Except for everyone who's already forgotten it. Man, earlier today I was listening to a... Uh, what, what was the name of the song? Get On It or something like that? <laughs> Can't remember it. Fucking, how you gonna do it if you really don't take a chance? By standing on the wall. Get your back down off the wall. <laughs> oh shit, you ain't seen nothing. Alright, so there's a dude in here? Where at? You know what? I think I can... 
drop in from up top, right? There's like a rooftop hatch. There's a window. Oh, there is a dude in there. Oh, fuck. Let's try not to get that man killed. I just need, like, a way in. There's an open window. But can I... Oh. It's not even the right... He'll just see me instantly. Oh, fuck. Oh, here we go. Honorable. Got some arrows. Alright, let's go kill the rest. Oh, can I... Ariel assassinate him? Nope. Ah, fuck. Don't you dare, you son of a bitch. Honorable. Beautiful. Hold still. I will protect you. You're safe now. I was sure they were going to kill me. They already You're safe now. Despite all the uh the escape. Mongols that are still out there. Let's stay here until it's safe. Let's stay here until it's safe. Place surrounded by mongrels. Sounds like a smart idea. Yeah. Alright. I thought I was just coming here to rescue one dude. There's like more people. Oh shit. They're all in here, right? I don't have to go anywhere else. There's a dude over there. Can I jump up here? Is that too high? Yeah, that's too high. Thought that was grooves I can jump up on. I gotta go fully around. Okay. I'm honorable. Most honorable man. Oh, fuck. Move! Stay away from her. You're going to be all right. You know, lady, instead of standing there cowering in fear, you could have, like, ran. Or hid. I'm fine. They wanted me to heal their sick. And you refused. Stay here until I've dealt with the rest. They took our headman, Tamura, to one of the houses. Free him before it's too late. Okay. Will do, lady. Will do. Grab that flower, it's mine. Is he in there? Is he in the wooden house? Further down, I guess. Hmm. Oh, I gotta open the gates. That's right, I forgot about that. Just ran in here and started killing everybody. Felt so good about it. Honorably, of course. Can I? Is it pot? No, I can't. I tried to call my horse. Ooh. That don't look. That don't look too good. <laughs> I didn't even notice that the first time I came in here.
That guy got fucked up. Did I do that? That couldn't have been me. I'm not that vicious. Meanwhile, I'm like cutting limbs off and shit. Are these fortunes? What are these? It's not fortunes. Thought they were. Oh, you're just locked inside there. Well, you're safe. There's no one there. You're you're good for now. There's really no hiding. Did I just assassinate him? Okay. I was about to be like, what? Just like that? Why are you facing that way? There we go. Learned a new stance. Wind stance. That's the one that got kicks in it. Kicks are always cooler than punches. Highly effective against spears and axes. Really? Doing fucking twirls and shit? Man, I remember like the longest time ago. Like, I don't watch MMA or anything like that. But you know, from time to time you see clips. You see motherfuckers doing spin kicks and shit. And you're like, man, that's not effective. Why the fuck? And now, like, everything is a fucking spin. Because you put, apparently it puts a lot of force in it. Momentum and shit. Just knocking people out. Oh, wrong button. Oh, well, fuck. Someone's gonna die. That man, the fucking will of a god, heard an explosion behind him, didn't even check. He said, no, I'm still grilling this. Am I stuck? What the f Get up there. Alright. Well, how do I switch my stances? Is it this one? I want to try the one stance. Looks kind of cool. Oh, fuck. Not that way. Is that her crying, or... I guess. My horse stopped working. What? Oh, what? Can I not parry with this? Here we go. What the fuck is his stance? Alright, moon stance, 11 more leaders. Okay. Sounds cool. It's like Final Fantasy 14. Isn't that literally like a... Isn't there like a move for the samurai class in that game? It's like moon cut or some bullshit? Moon stab? Moon slice? Full moon slice? Something like that? Oh, I can't jump it through the window? Alright, cool. Is there a... Rooftop entrance that I can scroll my way through. You saw nothing! Oh, you saw everything. Oh, fuck. How do I get up there? I will save you, for I am an honorable samurai. I'm here! Yeah. 
Don't. There we go. Still alive? Oh, fuck. I did it. I'm fucking awesome. Hold still. Are you the headman? I am. The Mongols threatened to kill my people unless I accepted their rule. Yes, yes, I've heard it all before, Mr. Headman. To resist. Remain hidden until it's safe to come out. The Mongol warlord has taken over my home. Please drive him out and free. He's taken over everyone's home, sir. It's pretty apparent that that is the problem here. Where? Smoke bombs full. Can I? How do I? There we go. I'm gonna switch the kunines. I like them. They're cool. I'll free you people. Just give me a moment. Trying to walk around the city streets alone at midnight? I mean, not gonna lie, I, I've done that before. <laughs> it depends, like, like, which areas in the city, right? Is it the entertainment areas? Or is it just the projects? Is he just like, yeah, no, I'm gonna just walk out. If it's the projects, then that... It's not safe here. That's, a, that's a no one. That's a no, no, you uh, stay inside. There was a stabbing last night in his neighborhood. And he's walking around. Okay. See, now that's... That's something that you don't do. Cause I've been through that before. It's like, yeah, man, it was just right up the road. Like, I, like, already told, I think I already told the story during, like, Phoenix Wright. Yeah, it was during Phoenix Wright that, like, you know, someone literally got shot in front of my house and I had to, I had to fucking, I had to go outside and verify that the person was shot because the dumbass fucking 911 people just didn't want to send anybody. Cause, nope, that's the ghetto. They say, well, we hear this all the time, sir. They didn't say that, but if they did, I would have lost it. I was already losing it. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean go outside and verify? It was right in, it's right in front of my house. Dude can just drive by again. <laughs> Where the fuck am I going? Oh, the wind is showing me. Thank you, Mufasa. Thank you for the help. Standoff with who? Had to yell at him for Yeah, it's it's like, dude, you don't. Don't do that. Was that literally it? Was it only those two? Oh, okay. Gates open. Yeah, fucking... Crime rates have been going pretty stupid as, as of late. I mean, listen, motherfuckers getting stuck at home going crazy. Like, the winter time is usually the time where people mostly go and... Like, statistically, not to, not to like, bring the mood down or anything... Winter is usually when suicide rates and shit go up and people do crazy shit, so. Add that on with, like, mass hysteria and fucking... Well, not hysteria, but, you know. Just, like, COVID and people being trapped inside and shit. You're bound to have some crazy shit going on. Not really trapped inside, but, you know. People feel like they're trapped. Meanwhile, every gamer is like, yeah, power to players, gamers rise up. <laughs> oh, he kicked me, son of a bitch. 
Am I supposed to mash? I hope not. Come on, man, bring it on. Oh, fuck. Broke your fucking guard, bitch. What, that makes people go crazy? Yeah, that and, like, lunar cycles. I don't know why. Apparently there's like some statistic that during eclipses is when people lose their fucking minds. Like there's some type of special werewolf or some shit. Did anyone ever think fucking Michael Jackson turned into a werewolf used to be like the scariest shit? <laughs> I'm not like other guys. Well, of course you're not like other guys, Michael. <laughs> like what? And he's like... <laughs> She's freaking out. Man, I, I feel so bad talking about Michael Jackson now because, like, like I mean, it was no secret. We all know he was he was you know doing some fucky shit, but it's like we just let him do it for years, man. Cause he made good music. Like, come on. I mean, it's nothing. I, get, I hate to say it, but it's nothing new. I mean, like, look at Chris Brown, right? You know, look at Breezy, that motherfucker. <laughs> Listen, let's be honest, Michael Jackson was some kind of fucking Peyton God or something. Pay, uh, how the fuck do you say it? Yeah, Pagan. Yeah, Pagan God. It's just like, bro, just sacrifice a couple of children and I make good music. <laughs> oh shit. I shouldn't joke about that. That's fucked up. Man. But Thriller is so good, man. You gotta do some human sacrifices for that. I mean, he pretty much confirmed it at the end of Thriller. Like, once the music's over, he's all like, you got what you want. Now, where's the sacrifices? His eyes fucking turn. He's like, you know what comes next. <laughs> would you like to see what I have? I would like to dye my armor. I have Ronin attire. Look at that. Oh. What are the upgrades for the Ronin shit? Undiscovered armors. Samurai armor. And this is the traveler's attire. I'll see you again. I feel like the Ronin armor is like missing some shit, you know? Like there's m there needs to be like more added to it. Is there nothing like added to the Ronin armor at all? Like, like visually speaking, once you upgrade it, I would like to see something, right? <laughs> I want to listen to good music now. That's me whenever I'm just like doing some. If I'm not listening to a podcast, I'm just full blasting like either old music or something. Like I'm listening to fucking September or some shit. Or fucking bo listen, Boogie Wonderland is great, but I still love the Happy Feet version. Fucking the Spanish penguins are going stupid. He said, "My brothers, eh, look at my nyama. Like, come on, <laughs> they're going crazy. In the background, the one penguin's like, "She looks so beautiful to me." <laughs> Mumbo, Boogie Wonderland. God, I had the Happy Feet game for like PlayStation 2. I remember playing that as a kid. <laughs> they had all. It was only like a ver. It was only like a variation of three mini games. It was the fucking slide down the like bootleg snowboarding SSX levels, and then it's like Dance Dance Revolution shit, and then after that it's like some underwater levels, which were the worst ones. 
but the amount of times I used to replay the Boogie Wonderland fucking dance level, I liked it. It was good. <laughs> Where the fuck am I going? That was back in the day where licensed games used to be, like, really good, actually. Like, the Jimmy Neutron games are good. Fucking the Chicken Little game is pretty good. The jump button was a little laggy, but that was, like, on purpose for some reason, because I guess they were really just trying to bring home the point that Chicken Little got a big fucking head, and it weighs him down on his tiny little body. A lot of biggies hits lately. I listen to mashups too. Like I don't, I don't find myself listening to like. Well, I don't like modern day rap that much because, listen, I'm not the most qualified person to talk about the rap game stuff like that because I stopped giving a fuck after 2004. But like, the way I see it right now, the only motherfuckers carrying that shit on their back right now is fucking, is what it's, is it? It's Tyler the Creator, Kendrick Lamar, I think, and fucking. And uh, Eminem. No, it's not Kendrick Lamar. Never mind. Take him out of there. No, you know what? Put Kendrick Lamar back in there. Yeah, he's doing pretty good. <laughs> but it's like... And I never understood why people... Well, I mean, I can understand it. Because people are fucking crazy. But they're like, man, I liked Eminem better when he was doing crack. It's like, bro... Come on, man. You don't like the man because he's rapping about real shit. It's like he actually still has soul in his music. Even when he was doing crack, he had soul in his music. He was still talking about real shit. Like, he knew he was fucked up. But he was more, like, lighthearted about it. He, like, joked about it. Now he's all like, nah, man, I'm really fucked up. Like them better when he was doing it. Yeah, people like people literally say that shit and I'm like, bro, are you serious? Really? They're like his music was better when he was doing crack. It's like, yeah, because because to because like the way I see it nowadays, people don't really care about if you're fucking you know, if you actually saying shit in your music, they're just all you know, people want to party. Like fucking like Outcast said it the best and fucking hey y'all, he's like, Y'all don't wanna listen, y'all just wanna y'all just wanna dance. You listen, hey y'all, he's like, you read the whole song, you read the whole lyrics and shit, like you listen to it, and you're like, dude, I was so confused, I was swiping on the D-pad, I was like, where's my horse? Not swiping on D-pad, swiping on the touchpad. Where's my horse? Yeah, it's like, it's like, yeah, I like some of his older hits better, but I mean, like, dude, like, come on, let the man talk. Y'all don't want to listen because he's talking shit. He's talking like real shit. Alright. Am I supposed to go that way? I am. Let's go, <sighs> this fucking horse. Just let my horse jump off a cliff, man. Let him jump and live. It's a video game. You ain't got to be super realistic. Oh no, your horse jumped off. Lost his legs. Get get a turner kit. It's a video game horse, man. Fucking let him... Like, uh, if Epona in fucking N64 can jump over fucking the whole entire ranch, then, like, how come horses in fucking 2021 games, or for this game instance, 2020 games, can't just, like, you know, jump over the moon? My wife is there. With my son. You left your family behind? What choice did I have? I'm no warrior. <sighs> I'll help them. Stay here. He's like, you left your family behind? He's like, dude, I would have died. <laughs> like, I went to get help. Also, that's metal as shit. Holding like a paper doll and you're dead already. That's some full metal alchemist type shit right there. God. <laughs> God, I don't want to talk about Full Metal Alchemist. <laughs> Why not even bring it up? Stand off. I'm right here. I'll fuck somebody up. I'll fuck him up. Big Brother Al, no. Daddy. Wait. <laughs> what is that, the fourth episode? Oh, 
Oh, here comes big motherfucker. Honorable. Oh, I didn't even have to stab him. You guys aren't even Mongols. You're just bandits. Oh, fuck. I was trying to parry in time, but I fucked it up. No! You wanna shoot arrows, bitch? The man mentioned a wife and child. Bro, they're so dead. They're so dead. They are not alive. No sign of the family here. Maybe outside. Full Metal Alchemist. I have to rewatch Full Metal Alchemist. Because my mind just like... It just evaporated almost everything I knew about it. I don't even remember the ending, to be honest. Laundry. Still down. And I mean like the Brotherhood Still. ending, not the, uh, not the movie. Wasn't... Like, minor spoilers here. Wasn't the, like, non-quote-unquote non-canon movie ending, wasn't it, like, at the end they were all part of a simulation or some shit? <laughs> a lot of blood. Someone was killed here. Also, I think the dub voice actor for, uh... For, um... Bodies were dragged. For, uh... What? Throw damn. Alphonse is the... Alphonse is the fucking... Is the, uh... One in the armor, right? It's Alphonse and what's the other one's name? Fucking. A child is it supposed to be Alexander? No, it's not Alexander, is it? It's it's just Alex, right? I I don't remember. I should let him know. I don't remember. Just call them Al. Al is in the suit, and the other one is. Why can't I remember the other guy's name? What the fuck? <laughs> Why can't I remember the main one? How can I remember the guy the name who's the same height as me? God, if I ever cosplay, that's the only cosplay I can do. <laughs> that's the only character that's my height. It's Alan fucking, uh, damn it. My Lord, did you find I don't remember. Edward, thank you, fuck. Your family was killed. I'm so mad. Why didn't you save them? Yeah, but I, I think the... Dub voice. What do you mean? Why didn't I save them? They fucking. They're. They were dead before I came. Like a coward. Al and Ed. Okay, because all I can remember in my head most of the time is just hearing Big Brother Al, and I'm like, I'm like, that don't sound right. Actually, no. Fucking. That's what the little girl called him, right? That's what she called Alphonse before she got transmuted into a dog. Yes, my lord. She would call him Big Brother Al, right? But yeah, I think the dub voice actor for uh, for Edward is, um, I think he's the same voice actor for Junpei in Persona 5. I mean, not Persona 5, Persona 3? What the hell am I saying Persona 5? I said Persona 5 because I was thinking when they get aged up in fucking Ultimax. God, Junpei is such a fuck. Junpei is such a loser, but he's cool. You know, except, except for that. Except for the couple of moments where he's just a real jackass. <laughs> play Persona 3 Portable, the female version. Oh my, the female playthrough. Fucking Junpei's a jackass. And then they have the nurse be like, Do you want to date him? And I'm like, Fuck no, I don't want to date that guy. He's an asshole. <laughs> He's like, How come she gets to be leader, but I'm a guy? Like, shut up. The fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> but I'm a dude. And the girl gets to be the leader. He is the same voice actor? Holy shit. Because <laughs> I remember just watching the... Like, I checked... They came on Netflix. I checked the dub. Like, just just a little bit. You know? And then the moment he talked, all I just remember was the beginning of Persona 3 where Junpei walks up to you and he's all like, Sup, dude? And I'm like... <laughs> I'm like, is that fucking Junpei? Sep, dude. That's my favorite. I don't know why. I don't know why that tickles me. Like, every time I see Junpei, I'm like, Sep, dude. <laughs> also, my man's in like... He's like, what? 
his second year of high school, and he he already looks older than fucking Akihiko. My man's got a full ass goatee. <laughs> There's a fox den nearby. Wait, is this the fox den? Can I just pray to this? Is this? Oh. <laughs> Listen, to the fox. He sound like he's dying. He said, "Follow me." I'm be honest, I looked away for a second, and I lost the fox. <laughs> I was like, what happened? <laughs> but yeah, and I think Lelouch Vitaliant from like Code Geass is this is a uh, Johnny Young Bosch, right? Doesn't he do doesn't he do the voice for a uh, Yunar Kami as well? Who else does Johnny Young Bosch do? Oh yeah, he does you and Adachi, right? They're both the same. Running out of breath. Running out of breath. It's a video game, but I'm running out of breath. Yeah, I'm gonna be a fucking track star chasing these foxes. Don't leave me, Fox. I want to pet you. Oh, you're damn right. Come here. Adorable little motherfucker. A fox is just a dog running on the fucking software of a cat. <laughs> he just disappeared. Okay, I thought... What the fuck? It went back into the ocean. <laughs> like a fucking... Like the Loch Ness Monster or some shit. I must go now. My planet needs me. Just... <laughs> just walked into the water and disappeared. <laughs> so weird. Oh, man. Alright. Fucking... What was I? Where, where was I going before the fox confused the shit out of me? Doing these like side quests and shit. Come on, when show me? God, the touchpad on on the PS5 is really weird. Cause like on the PS4 you can just brush your finger across it, but like on PS5 you gotta put some pressure on it, you know? You gotta stroke the touchpad with some heat. It better fucking be important. Where you at? You son of a bitch. You trying to fight me? Oh. I thought he had his hands up in like fighting stance. He's gonna bring me into a corner and try and beat me up. Me something. Oh no, my lord. Turn into SpongeBob for a moment. It it feels like someone's trying to sell me something. Here should be fine. And then there's like two real tailors hiding behind a rock. They're like, I told you he was on to us. My neighbor Harua. He's acting suspicious. He sneaks out of town at sunset. Gone for hours. Comes back at dawn. You live next to a spy? I followed him. He went to a burnt-out house by the cemetery and met bandits there. Bandits? That can't be good. I'll find this house and learn what they're up to. My man out here being totally spies? Dude, if they remade totally spies, I would fucking I would lose my mind. Forget about remaking totally spies. If they remade Martin Mysteries, if for some fucking reason they said, Yo, we're remaking Martin Mysteries, I'll just lose it. God, Martin Mysteries was so underrated. So good. It was Martin and his sister who looked it a lot like Sam from Totally Spies, but it wasn't. <laughs> and then fucking... I mean, they're they're made by the same... Uh, like, the same... They both got the same creators. But, like... <laughs> they also had the caveman, Jabba. And they got their missions from, like, a little alien dude. I 
Actually, I, I think they got their missions from, like, this lady, but the assistant to the lady was, like, this little alien dude. God, Martin Mysteries is so fucking good. Standoff. Martin Mysteries is so good, and so was, uh, 16. God, I love 16. I'm so mad that there's, like, no DVD or Blu-ray collections of those things. There was a website that would, like, kind of make them. Right? But I think they recently, uh... <gasps> MY HORSE! You shooting at me? Ah, fucking bitch. Come here. You shot my fucking horse. Get over here. Don't you run away? Yeah! so funny they'll just start yelling and they just hit him with an arrow they fall like a sack of puppies it's like uh it's like when you're playing overwatch and you hear widowmaker or something <laughs> fucking she uh she says her like alt in french and you shoot her and then she's just like Ugh! It's like when you hear justice rains from a. Uh. I already forgot where I was going. But yeah, there was the fucking. Uh, did I just take a leaf out of my pocket? Why the fuck did I have a leaf in my pocket? And where's my. Ho oh, my horse got shot. I know you got shot, horse, but come on. You useless bitch. Where are you? I saw you get back up. What the f- Oh, there you are. Motherfucker. Yeah, but there was like a website that would, uh... You know... They would make- they would make like bootleg DVD collections, but they weren't really bootleg. It was like properly... Like a collection that you can go and... Go into the scene collection, go into chapters, pick- pick it up and shit. And I was gonna buy like a bunch of shit from there. I never had the chance to. Cause like... They got like the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle 2003, all that stuff into like Turtles in Time or whatever the fuck. Because if you try to buy the DVDs of those, you got to buy like a million fucking DVDs that each of them only have like what four episodes on or some shit. I don't know. It's stupid. They had that. They had American Dragon 16, Mart Mysteries, fucking they had old shit like Betty Boot and stuff like that. I definitely want to get a Betty Boot one for my mom. She really likes Betty Boot. But I think they finally, finally, uh, people caught wind of it. And they got shut down, I guess. Like, I find it really fucking stupid that, uh, out of all the shows not to have, like, a DVD collection, it's fucking American Dragon and goddamn Kim Possible. Like, what are you doing, Disney? What the hell is wrong with you? You re-ran Kim Possible to the fucking dirt, and you don't have, like, a DVD collection or anything like that? Like, come on, man. What did you bring this time? A statue of the United States. Oh, that's valuable. I'm surprised the Mongols didn't take it. Let's bury it with the rest. Oh, so he's not a spy, he's just a thief. Let's see where they take things. Okay. Your eyes open for trouble. I gotta fucking tell them now. The best mission ever created known to mankind. Fucking tail behind people. I thought we were I thought we were beyond this point, you know. Like if you're ever gonna make me tail someone in a video game, it better be like an act of chase. You know? Like that's the best tail mission you can ever do, is like chasing someone down. Like, I know Grand Theft Auto 4 had, like, a lot of that. That was pretty good. Let's go. Well, Grand Theft Auto 4 was 
passable, you know? It wasn't that good. But it was... It was, you know... It was alright. I could have done without fucking... What, what's his name? The cousin Roman? Call me every five seconds going, Cousin Nico! Let's go bowling! And I'm like, shut the fuck up. I don't want to go bowling. <laughs> I don't ever want to go bowling. I really hope they don't look behind. I have nowhere to hide at right now. Don't turn around. Wait, so are they just grave robbers? What are they doing? I hate burying stuff like this. Better in a grave than a Mongol ship. They don't sound like thieves. Oh, what are they doing? I'm actually, I actually want to know what the fuck's going on now. I have nowhere to actively hide either. That's what's bad about this. Confront the bandits. Yo, bitches! What are you doing? That's enough. Don't move. Damn! I knew we'd been followed. Wait. It's the samurai. I'm glad it's you, my lord. That's a strange reaction from a thief. We're not thieves. You drove the Mongols from Azamo Bay. But what if they come back to raid us? We're hiding the most important things from our shrine. Just in case. Okay. That's nice. Singing cricket. <laughs> that Mulan shit. So cricket in a cage. The Mongols found the house. I still haven't watched the live-action Mulan. I heard it was terrible, which really sucked because I was I was hoping that even though they were really kind of fucking some things up, I was hoping that it would come through in the end. You know? You two get in the house and protect your people. With what? Everything you've got. With your fucking great and determined, motherfucker, go protect your people. Like I, like I know a lot of people weren't like happy about the shit they were doing with Mulan. Like, don't get me wrong, I wasn't happy either. But like, I was like, all right, maybe they'll still come out on top somehow. Maybe they have a plan or something, right? But nope, just they apparently they just fucked it up. I guess a lot of people just tell me it was bad and they didn't like it. I have yet to watch it, though. Do I still need fucking Disney Premiere to watch it? Did, is that thing off of Premiere now? Because I'm not paying $30 to fucking watch a movie. Like, I never, I never spent $30 at a goddamn movie theater, ever. Unless, like, I'm taking someone with me or something. Like, oh no, I know it's only on Disney, but there's Disney Plus regular, and then there's, like, Disney Plus Premiere, right? And for Premiere, you have to pay, like, $30 a month or something like that. And it's just, like, you get to see the movies when they come out. And it's like, okay. Oh, wait, you're, you're just a good guy. Oh, wait, you killed him. Oh, shit. Oh, I can't tell who the hell's on my team and who's not. Oh, he shot that dude. Wind stance effective against spirit. Yeah, I know that. Are you really telling me to change the wind stance? Oh my fucking god. I chose not to use wind stance. I've been not using wind stance this whole time. I'm not used to wind stance. I gotta train with that, you know? Let's get in. No, we kept them away. Not us. It was Lord Sakai. Who are these people? Travelers fleeing the Mongols. People who lost their homes. And you protected them. We tried. You're not hiding those valuables so we could steal them later. No, my lord. 
At this point, I wonder which is a better movie. Mulan live action or uh, Wendy Wu Homecoming Warrior. Because I used to watch the shit out of Wendy Wu Homecoming Warrior. I love that movie. Grandma making moon pies and shit. Great. <laughs> there's just some like, there's just some like, you know, direct Disney movies that just, you watch on principle, right? <laughs> It's like Sky High, Wendy Wu Homecoming Warrior. One of the high school musicals, not all of them. Only one of them. Which one? I won't say. With me. You know, it's Jump In. Better. Jump In was a good one. My Lord, they can't be Jump in the rhythm and dance to the music. As you wish, my Lord. Open the gate. Let everyone inside. There's also like Johnny Tsunami. Johnny Tsunami. I need to rewatch. Make sure they know where to find what you buried when the Mongols are finally. Like no lie. Thank you. The first High School Musical is all right, you know. Like I, it's nothing that I want to like. I want to go back and watch, but it's one of those things that I have fond memories of. And then uh, the second High School Musical, I didn't like at all, but it probably has the best songs out of all of them. Cause no lie, fucking uh, the boys are back is a good song, and then, and then um, uh, bet on it, dude. They used to play that shit like in every fucking, every chance they had during the commercials on Disney. Just fucking, Zac Efron, bet on it, bet on it, bet on it, bet on me, right? Um. High School Musical 3, I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember much about it. I, I don't even think I can, I don't even think I can remember any song from it. Oh, the first one had a status quo. That was a good, that was a good song too. No, 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 stick to the stuff you know. Right? That was a good one. Stick to the status quo. <laughs> God. And you got the big girl getting up. She's like, I like to, I like to sing and dance. She start popping and locking it. I was like, oh shit. I was like, get it, girl. Get it, thick madame. Man, what movie was it? It's so, it was some movie I watched where like, you know, it was like, it was like, you know, the bigger women get married with like Nigerian princes and shit. And he's all like, no, in my country, we don't call them fat. We call them thick madame. And she said, damn. Thick, my damn, I like that. <laughs> I remember used to watch that little ba uh, loving basketball, the Parkers. <laughs> Where the Parkers? <laughs> At the end of the theme song, got that ratchet ass laugh. She's like, <laughs> "You're like, what the fuck? What am I watching?" Watch that with, like, my wife and kids and fucking... I forgot I had a grappling hook. Oh, my fucking God. Where the hell was that grappling point at? What? You gotta jump to activate the grappling hook? That's weird. Huh. Yeah, but I don't remember that much from the third, uh... Fucking high school musical. What, what was the main thing of that? Was it that they were all going to college or something? And Troy didn't know what he wanted to do or some shit. Was that the thing? I think Gabrielle was like moving or something. Why do I keep pressing that? I keep pressing that thinking it's the fucking like map button. Oh shit. What the hell did I just do? There we go. Get me over here. I'm really trying to remember what the third High School Musical was about. Oh. I really, I really don't remember. <laughs> and then, didn't fucking Sharpay get her own movie too? Or some shit like that? It was like a movie or like a series or something. I don't remember. She like went to New York. To be in Broadway and everybody treated her like shit. Which is weird. 
when you think about it because it's like isn't she rich doesn't like i get she wants to be an actor but like couldn't she just disappoint i mean listen i'm not gonna pretend like i know the things that go behind the scenes in movies but couldn't she just pay her way into it you saved taka's life my debt's not paid until your uncle's free i'm glad to hear it send word to the others what should i tell them we're going to break into castle canada and free lord shimura yeah, because that worked so well last time. I've told your nephew stalks my men. He tears them apart like a beast. I do now. It's got worse. <laughs> oh, you pretend you're that different. Are we fighting for the same thing? To create a legacy that outlives us. His name is bound to your legacy. The legacy is ruler than the name. Ah, true. Your family has lived here for generations. Your ancestral castle lies to the north, yes? I look forward to visiting it. While I leave you here to starve to death. No, not my honor. You can't take away my honor. Oh, shit. I just pressed something on my keyboard. Fuck. There we go. Everything's back to normal. It's great. I didn't do nothing wrong. Where are you? Everyone's here. Should we wait for the Straw Hats? No. For the Straw Hat Pirates? Nah, we can do without them. He's out there finding the One Piece. All right. Let me. I just want to change the thing real quick on OBS. It's fucking being weird. Make it a little bit louder. It seems like it's on the quiet side. Hopefully that's not too loud. All right. Jin. Wait, do I gotta talk to them one at a time or? Oh look, it's bitch ass Ishikawa. Thank you for coming. Lord Shimura will be grateful. My family's killer can wait a few hours longer. As can my hunt for Tomoe. Our island needs its leader restored. With your support, he'll be free by sunrise. Prepare yourselves. We will attack soon. Give the word. We'll be there. Your own student. Yeah. Now you're following my orders, bitch. Serves you right. Don't start. I hate sake. You know that. Lord Sakai, what are you talking about? Kenji. Nonsense. Have a drink. You'll feel better. Forget all about Azamobe. Fine. Taka, fine work on the grappling hook. I'm glad it suits you, my lord. Yuna wanted me to stay behind, but I have to come and wish you well. What's your excuse, Kenji? I don't like drinking alone. Then save your finest sake. If we rescue Lord Shimura, What's your excuse, Kenji? I came to see a motherfucker die tonight. <laughs> he said it was gonna be a show. I came to watch the show. Where is uh wasn't there someone else I hung out with? It was uh what's his name? The Ronin. Is he hanging around here? Speak with units to begin my attack. Is is Ryuzo not hanging around here? Is he gone? Everyone, He's not helping me out. Today we free Lord Shimura. But I was told we had straw hat reinforcements. They're not here. Oh yeah, I, I forgot. They call them the straw hat. Okay. What's the they call the mercenary straw hats. I'll use my grappling hook. Oh, the plan is I get in there and I fuck them up. I don't know what you motherfuckers are gonna do, but that's the plan. I might die. I probably will die, but. Lord Shimura in the main keep. If they sound the alarm, we may execute. We can storm the front gates, take them by surprise. No, we do this quietly. 
You'll carve a path for the main keep, rescue Lord Shinra, then fall back to the main gate and make our escape. Sounds like suicide. Only if we attack head The fuck do you know about suicide, Ishikawa? And catch the enemy while they're sleeping. I'm like a thief. How it goes. Lord Shimmer is counting on us. Let's head out. You know, Ishikawa, I don't like it when you judge me. You have no right to be judging me. At all. The guy who went like, nah, I saw you. I knew it was an ambush, but I didn't tell you. You could have died. Ah, but you didn't. <laughs> Like, all right, last motherfucker. I wanna, Good I want judging me. You sure this will work? It has to. All right. Looks like you can climb up here. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna super call it right now, right? Watch me call my shots. Fucking. There's no way we're saving Lord Shimura, but I feel like we're definitely gonna fuck up the place. They're probably gonna move into like a different hideout or some shit. All right, Ben 10, calm down. <laughs> I won't fail you again, uncle. God, original Ben 10 is so good. I have that on, on like, DVD collection. It's great. And that and Danny Phantom. I love Danny Phantom. Now, if I get caught, will that be a problem? Do I have to be stealthy? I'd rather not. Can I climb up here? Yes, I can. He might see me. He probably will. Nope, he won't. He's a blind bitch. Bitch. Oh, I thought he was gonna walk. Oh, come on. I need you to walk out so I can get rid of you honorably. He's gonna walk out from under it? Nope, he stops right there. Okay. Honorably. It was honorable. You can't tell me it wasn't honorable. Alright. Oh! There's a guy chilling out. Alright, cool. Don't know how he didn't see me, but, you know. <laughs> Since this guy was taking the lookouts. Well done. Since Ishikawa was the last person I want to do a lookout, I don't trust that man. Wait, what happened? What? Oh, he moved. I was so confused for a moment. Is he gonna walk back? Oh, yeah, he totally is. And I'll stab him. Comes around this corner. I'll get him. Oh, really? 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 He said assassination. I press the button and I start slashing him with a sword. Oh shit. This is gonna be more difficult than I thought. I mean, I didn't have to kill him. I can just like sneak past, right? I just gotta find the alarm. I can take care of you. No problem. No one will see you, right? Ah, oh, fuck me. Come on, my aim is shit. Die!
How did that not raise an alarm? Stealthy. The best stealth known to mankind. It was beautiful. I'm gonna get you though. You're gonna die in your sleep. There's nothing you can do about it. Now, I can just run past. I don't have to deal with this guy. Or I have to get. But I have to go through the house, I guess. Oh, shit. That's fine. The alarm. Better take down the guards. Fuck. So where's the alarm? No one will notice. No one will notice. Nobody will notice. Stealthy. Just secure the front gate. Consider it done. You know, can you clear the path along the cliff? I'll handle it. Good. You meet up at the bridge. For getting someone? No. You with me. <laughs> he said, no, I gotta keep an eye on you. You're too crazy. There's a siege weapon up ahead. Last time they turned it on Yuna and me. This time, we'll take it. Alright. So do we gotta do it stealthily? Quietly. Your move. Oh, quietly ahead on? Oh, well, my move. Fucking. Psh. I'm honorable. The fuck? You know what? I want to do a standoff. Oh. I'm sorry, you just called me the N-word? <laughs> what was that? No, I'm joking. I know he didn't do that. Whoa, hey! Like, it told, it told me that, you know, someone was looking, but it didn't tell me someone figured me out. Okay. Oh, fucking hell. Man, fuck the wind stance right now. This is not the time for the wind stance. Come on, I tried to jump and strike. Let's go. I missed. God, my aim with that sucks. Damn, she handled them. I <laughs> had to check on your tarantula real fast. How's it doing? Did it, did it start molting yet? God. Crazy motherfucker. Pet tarantula. Can you operate the watcher? I'll figure it out. When I free Los Chima, we'll be chased by Mongols. Take them down. With pleasure. Be safe, Jin. And you, Masako. It started molting, so it's just in a corner fucking... It's in a corner plotting on your downfall. That's what it's doing. God, it's gonna leave like a husk, and it's gonna be like, that's my shadow clone. And when you least expect it, it'll slit your throat. Alright. Now where am I going? I'm just heading up there. Jin, the gate's guarded. Follow my lead. Yeah, follow my lead. We're gonna just fuck him up. Oh, I have no arrows. I got fire arrows. Been kind of what? What do you mean? Oh hell no! Stop! Stop it! 
Stop. How many hits do you take, motherfucker? Uh-oh. Can't blame him. Those men were starving. They may have turned against him. War turns desperate men into animals. Oh, so I just go through. See no problem with this. You know, for their main base, you would assume this would be uh heavily guarded. By the honor. My honor protects me. Also, I love how she's like she only has, like, dirt on her boots and shit. Me, I'm covered in shit because I've just been rolling around in it. Alright, calm down. I got this. Do I do I just jump over? Oh, I just jumped down? Is that what's going on? I thought there'd be, like, a grappling hook point or something, you know? Guess I just jumped down. Now, what if I, what if I didn't have that, you know, roll and tuck technique? Would I just have to eat the fucking fall damage? Oh, here we go. Grappling hooks are cool. They should be in every video game. Huh. I would never do some fucking crazy shit like this. I'd be like, damn, I guess Mongol's just dead then. Can't tell if she's dehydrated or deadly. <laughs> I mean, whether she's dehydrated or hungry, either is deadly, both for you and her. She'll eat you. She'll eat human flesh. She'll do it. When you least expect it, too. Could use Yuna's help. You could use Yuna's help, or, or, you can be a badass. She's like two inches big. That's enough to kill you. You know you can die in like a centimeter of water. <laughs> That's my favorite. That's my favorite. Like, just constantly exaggerated. People are like you can die in an inch of water. You can die in like half an inch of water. You, you know you can die like a centimeter of water, right? Just, just, you know, just a pin drop of water. It can kill you. Um, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah, techniques. I have like some skill points that I've not been using. Stances. I have not been upgrading my stances at all. Eh, I guess I can, I guess it's time for me to learn how to kind of drown it. Gonna drown in my spider. That would be a terrible way to go. Cause I, cause I want to. He can't stop me. Honorable. Um. Shit. What did I want to do? Oh yeah. No. Never mind. Guess this. Guess this is a perfect time to learn how to control the wind stance. Actually, for wind stance, there's some slow ass swings. Not gonna lie. So, hold it to do kicks. Hmm. Alright. It's fine, it's fine. Honorable. Ow. Dude. The wind stance is so gonna get me killed. God damn it.
fuck. Oh, fucking hell. I got you, Yuna. Just give me a moment. That was too close. It was too close. Nobody told you to get fucking killed. Ah, fuck. Fuck me. Got no more arrows. Whew. The wind stance is weird. Why did the chicken cross the road? I don't know. Why? to go KFC and pick up his son, really? Oh, that... Mmm. Mmm. Now... Mmm. It... There's three ways you can... What? <laughs> there's three ways I can interpret that. Either... Chicken would go pick up his son. Are they cannibals? Or... Is his son... Is his son the meal? Is he eating his son? Is he Tantalus? From the Greek myth? Where he just, you know, offers his sons up to the gods as a, to the gods? To the gods as a banquet. He's all like, here, Zeus, eat my son. Hold this area. I'll find Lord Shimura. <laughs> Good luck, kid. By the way, wind stance, you gotta go. You almost got me killed. <laughs> Alright, where am I going? Don't Am I just going through the wind? Help me. Find a way past the lock gate. Cut it down. Is there a, uh... Can I not... Can I not grapple hook anywhere? Nope. Alright, well, shit. Well, I tried my best. I'm out of ideas. Yuna, you know anything? Nothing on the sides. There's no, like... There's a tower, but that's on the other side. Do we have, like, some sort of explosives that we can pick up? Find a way past the lock gate. Cracking the wall? Oh, really? Oh, I didn't even see this. Holy shit. Thanks. Is Rizzo betraying me? Thanks for the follow, by the way. Is Rizzo betraying me? Oh, come on, man. Can claim it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. You wouldn't. My men are starving, Jim. It's so loud. Yeah, that time it was, like, really loud. And he will reward your men. I'm gonna lower it. He I'm gonna lower it again. Samurai. You don't want to be a samurai. Samurais suck. Except for me, though. I'm the most honorable samurai, of course. Send us to die, just like he did at Komodo Beach. Yuzo is your family, Jin. Yuzo, don't do this. To protect mine. Yuzo, use my nigga. Come on. Use my brother. You 
about to make me you about to make me cut you down come on man come on man I don't want to do this that was a warning and are we fighting in the <laughs> sorry he really distract me for a moment uh if I need any hints just that well thank you <laughs> I probably will need heat heat what the hell is on me I'm just laughing right now because I literally got distracted because I'm like, are we fighting in lanterns? And then he just sliced the shit out of me. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Hold up. All right. All right. All right. That was my fault. I got you, motherfucker. I got your number. Wait, am I using the stone stance? Why am I using the stone stance? Oh. Whoa. Okay. Woo. All right. He was really putting pressure on there. All right. We got to fight. You motherfucker, don't you dare. Shit. All right, yeah, no, I'll take this L. I'll take it. There was no other way. Ugh. Damn. He is a fast motherfucker. I got your number this time. Stone stance your ass. Ooh, that parry timing is fucking me up. That was a good one. <laughs> All the other like standoffs I had weren't that good. It's not too late. Even the one with like the crow dude and shit. Help me oh man. It belongs to them now. Oh, that was good. He's here. Thanks for the hint. I, I know the stances help with different things, but for the most part, I just kind of, I just kind of stick to the stance that I really like. Right now, I just like the water stance the most, and the wind stance, I just can't. I just fucking, I gotta get more practice with that one. Motherfucker set me on fire. Shot your own, shot your own teammate. What's up? Come on, swing, bitch. Thank you. Nice. I gotta switch to, um... How do I switch to my bow? That's my long bow, but my half bow.
Ooh. Damn, dude. Oh, come on, Jen. Face the right way, please. Oh, he's running back. Look at him. Look at him hobble over. Come here. Oh, I don't even know why I tried to block that. You can't. Ah. Oh. Some bitch, get back here. All right, how did I miss that one? Come on. There we go. I'm here to save you, Uncle. Honorably, of course. Oh, hey guys, how's it going? You want to stand off? No? I got this. Really? Come on! All right, one stance. Let's see what you can do. Fuck. All right, that one really threw me off because the first attack really should have hit me. There we go. You drop anything for me? Nope. All right, cool. Moving on. Thank you. Is there... Oh, there are stairs. Well, not stairs. Ladder. I feel like my uncle's, like, gonna watch me assassinate this dude. He's gonna be like, man, that was dishonorable. <laughs> Assassination unlocked. Cool. I'm sorry, who said that? fucking love the parries in this game. It's great. Like that. Also, your sword's on fire, dude. How'd you do that? You cover it in pine resin? Like it's Dark Souls? Oh, fuck. Oh, that should have got you. Do this song and dance all day. Honorably, of course. Bring it on, bitch. Honorably. I knew you would come, my boy. Your father would be proud. <laughs> I love how they're always like, your dad was so honorable, and the flashback is, is Jin, help me! <laughs> The most dishonorable death ever. He's like, Jin, pick up the sword and stab him in the back. Jin Khan is marching north to conquer Toyotama. Oh, man. He left some guards here. But there'll be no match for two samurai. I brought allies. We can retake the castle. If I don't want they will that. sing songs. I don't even know what I just said. Like, I just had a stroke. <laughs> I went to read <laughs> I went to read the chat and I couldn't even speak. Or what in the future? I mean, like, the wind stance? Like, the intricacies? I have yet to, like, put any skill points into my stances. Oh, fuck. Oh, come on. Come on, hit the, hit the arrow, man. Stop aiming over there, Jen. Also... 
Did this man just faint me? What the hell was that about? He did a jumping strike and then he canceled out of it. Oh, I didn't even hear that go off. Stop shooting my uncle. Stop shooting me too. Oh, the flaming sword. Okay, yeah. I mean, I, I assume this is definitely not the end of the game. Because it's fucking got other side shit to do. That's like hard lock. But I'm glad he proved me wrong. It won't be the last time, Sensei. I'm glad you're all here. We've lost too many people. God, I hate Sensei Ishikawa. He's a jackass. He died, we honor Lady Masako. Now we avenge him. And all the fallen warriors of Tsushima. There's more coming. We will face them together. You're damn right. Oh, sh shit. Oh, I thought I was can thought I could hit him. There we go. Oh, that's Ishikawa. I was about to shoot him. Ah, oh, motherfucker. I was getting fucked up. So much for master, huh? Well fought. All of we you. We did it. The castle is ours. I don't want, want this castle. Victory, my lord. With your help, Jin. Together, we will break the Mongol spirit and bring Kupun Khan to his knees. We will win this war as samurai. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, isn't one of the fucking Mortal Kombat characters named Kotal Khan? Isn't he the Aztec guy who turns into, like, animals and shit? And always gets fucked up for some reason? <laughs> They're like, Kotal Khan is so powerful, but he always gets fucked up. Oh, look at those colors. Oh, man, so beautiful. Those reds and oranges. Have an impressive home. Won't you welcome me inside? Nah, man, no one's home. I'm not buying anything. I'm good. Are tired. Hungry. Cold. Open the gate and save them. Oh, come on, man. Really? That's not honorable. You promised food for my men. Earn it. See, you should have joined me. Should have joined me, brother. I love how they're like, now his hair looks a little bit more wild because he has turned to the dark side. What if no one was in the castle? What if they just closed the gates and all left? That'd be pretty fucked up. And they just didn't know it. <laughs> This is how you make another, uh... Open the gate! Open the gate! This is how you make another Griffith. 
don't know about you guys, but Griffith did nothing wrong. <laughs> A little Berserk reference there, huh? I want the cutscene to end before I fucking... Come on. Come on. Is another cutscene gonna go? <clears throat> Your uncle's looking for you. I heard the Khan took his castle. I never should have trusted you, Yuzo. He fooled all of us. I thought you'd be gone by now. So did I. Let's talk to my uncle. See about getting your reward. All right, there we go. To answer your question, by the way, playing it on PS5. Also, to answer that question, at the beginning of this stream, I almost, I almost spilled the whole fucking cup of water on my PS5. I could use your help in the fight ahead. I was scared. Uncle Jin, you don't need me. I need every ally I can trust. I was like, oh shit. I thought she was going to say something. She just kind of just went there and stood there like she had something to say, you know? Let me upgrade my shit, actually. Actually, I'll, I'll fast travel to the place that has the gif altar and then upgrade my shit. Oh, uncle. I'm here. Oh, we have more samurai in training. Nice. I look the same. You will defeat the Khan and the coward Yuzo. Mount their heads on the battlements of my castle. But I can't do this without you. You have me. I'm sorry. Samurai are supposed to be honorable. I don't think mounting heads are on is honorable. What? <laughs> Exploits. Okay, double man cry, baby. Calm down. Your methods were brutal. And don't make Cryberry so so good. Without honor, I did what I had to. That whole that whole Netflix version of it is like being on an acid trip. But I will be forever in your debt. But you can't continue down this path. All of Tsushima looks to us for guidance. We must <laughs> it is. together. I mean, like, they had to pull some of the shit from the original Devil May Cry, uh, Devil Man Cry, baby, you know? They couldn't get rid of that scene. God, that show is so good, but it makes you feel so bad. Oh, my God. But only if she helps me retake my castle. Thank you, Uncle. We ride within the hour. Yes, Lord Shimura. It's also like when I when I try to watch Watamote and I'm like, man, how many episodes did I watch? Did I watch six episodes? Oh no, I watched four. It's just that every episode feels like an hour has gone by. Oh, it's a pun oh, it's a punishment. Okay. See, I I don't know too much about samurai. I just thought that their punishment was like, you know, drop a sword in front of you. <clears throat> oh wait, no, hold up. Let me let me. Let me fucking recollect myself and say that again. I knew cutting the head off was a punishment, but my man's talking about putting it on like a pike and shit and for all to see. I didn't think that was part of the punishment. <laughs> right? Thought there was like two versions of the punishment. One is, here's a sword, kill yourself in front of me, and the other one is, I'm just gonna kill you. You're just gonna get beheaded in front of everyone. Where is the, uh, is it this one? Yeah, it is this one with the gif altar. Oh, cannot fast travel during current objective. I didn't know I was actively in a mission. Okay, never mind. Um, you're the swordsmith, right? Trapper. No. Swordsmith is... I don't think I, I don't think I have anything. Yeah, I don't. I need to collect more shit. What about armor? 
Jin. Yes, lady. Lady Masako, any news on your family's killers? The <laughs> hunt continues. I've tracked several of the names to Toyotama. You won't have to find them alone. But when the time comes to retake Lord Shimura's castle, can I count on your sword? I love how Masako is just hanging out with us. Meanwhile, my uncle's like, Jin, honorable samurai, honor, honor, honor. And then Masako is just sitting here and she's all like, I want revenge. Foaming from the mouth. Is that revenge honorable? I'm, I'm not going to talk to you, Shikawa. I hate you. I don't care. Shut up. <laughs> Fucking asshole. I hate that guy. What did your uncle say? Lord Shimura will grant you passage to the mainland after you help us retake his castle. Oh, this isn't my fight, Jin. This is everyone's fight. Prove your worth to Lord Shimura, and he will reward you. I promise. Lord Sakai, it's time. Typical samurai. Squeezing people for everything they're worth. Oh, really? Okay. Is, uh... Is the idea to like have the acid like melt the rest of your organs while you're stabbing yourself? The bridge is out, but the Mongols don't know about the old forest path. This way. Uncle, I'm sorry I didn't free you sooner. You have nothing to apologize for, Jin. Uh what sort of man is the Khan? A clever beast, but I know his time. Oh, okay. So it's to like Alright, it's more it's more of like the slow painful death rather than like the quick instant one. Okay. Offered me wealth, power, wives. He thought you'd turn against your own people? For that insult alone, I will kill him. Tell me about this woman who saved your life. Yuna is brave, loyal, and good in a fight. Ishikawa said she's a thief. I like her. She's cool. But she has a good heart. Take care where you place your faith. You were friends with Yuzo too. So, the battles ahead will be difficult. Watch me call my shot here, right? I'm about to call it. You have my full support, and Yunus. The whole main thing about, I'm assuming the first act of the game is save your uncle, right? Is my uncle good, gonna be a bad guy? Cause he's giving me a little bit of villain vibes. I'm not lying here. The fact that Yuna's like, can I go now? And he's like, no, no, you still work for me. You suffer for like 30 minutes? Oh shit, that's bad. <laughs> it has sat empty since my father died. That's not good, that's the opposite of good. That is very bad. Also, am I walking through the fucking Lost Woods? What the hell's going on here? <laughs> Some ancient shit. That's just a dead bear. I feel like my uncle's gonna be a bad guy. I feel like I'm gonna have to put him down. He's gonna do some fucked up shit. I feel it. I feel it. He's giving me the. He's giving me those vibes. He has that look in his eye. Bodies. Monsters. We raided farms through the south. He never liked Ooh. this. This is the Khan's revenge for my escape. Oh. Damn. Without them, we won't survive the winter. I'll see it done. He burnt them while they were hanging. Oh shit. This is a few months after us taking the castle, right? Mongol patrol ahead. Run them down. I love how like bloodthirsty my uncle is. He's like kill him. Ah! Come on. Stone stance is effective against swordman. Yes, I know. Is there Motherfucker, is there a option to like say shut the hell up tutorials? Cuz I get it. I know I do But come on man Like stop 
Stop fucking with me here. <laughs> Display. Enemy bars. Subtitles. No stamina. So it's not a samurai pose. Okay. I mean, yeah. Look at look at Mulan. They were like, "Time to kill you. <laughs> You're dead." That wasn't a samurai movie, was it? Well, they were kind of dressed up as samurai, so I I guess I don't know. They didn't use no samurai tactics. I'll tell you that. I instantly forgot how to block. I'm not gonna lie. I just forgot. Like my mind just went stupid. Oh, son of a bitch! I have no arrows. Come here, you motherfucker. Tired of you. There we go. Come on, Kage, where you at? There you are. Let's go, Uncle. Let's ride like the wind. Ride like the wind, Bullseye. The Mongols have taken our lighthouse. We will relight the flame, show the Khan we're coming for him, and give our people hope. We must find our lighthouses and rekindle every last one. Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Oh, you took my kill, Uncle. Let me grab these arrows over here. I need them. Wait, can I grab more? Nope. Set eight right there. Oh, shit! I didn't even notice I was getting ripped apart by dogs. Honorably. Really? Oh, come on, Uncle. Come on. That's a wild instinct there. Where you at? You're pissing me off. Oh, fuck. There we go. Try to stab my uncle in the back. Ah, I took a hit for him. Silent 2. Where? I heard arrows getting shot. I don't know where from. I'll reach the alarm. It's over here. Stop that. Ow. God, it's so hard for me to so hard for me to deal with arrow people cuz I get like a second delay split-second delay on my audio so by the time they're shooting I'm already fucked ah oh, what the hell I just got super comboed Come on, don't, don't aim it. There we go. When I get the moon stance, I'm just gonna upgrade the shit out of it. I don't know what it does, but I'll just do it. This is 
deserved worse. Let us go, uncle. We will fight to our dying breath. I love how bloodthirsty my uncle is. He is he is so a villain. He looks like a villain too. That specific villain that's like, I'm the good guy. You know, what's she doing here? A war battle <sighs> right behind me. They have explosives. We can use that against them. Ready your bow. Oh shit. That was awesome. Oh, I have no arrows. Fuck. Oh, the horse is burning. Damn, you know, you're getting fucked up by that guy, huh? He ain't even fighting back. You just let him kick your ass, huh? It was fun. I like that. You're ready to fight for a lot of action and stabbiness. I need to get off this island. So does Taka. We're not finished yet. To the lighthouse. We'll rekindle its flame. Show the Mongols our victory at Castle Kaneda was only the beginning. And tell the Khan we're coming for him. I'm gonna go look for arrows because I need them. I need arrows like really bad. Distraction. A pleasure to serve, my lord. We need more warriors like you. <laughs> you were an effective distraction, not help. You were in a distraction. Do you hear how evil this man is? He's evil. There's no way he's not evil. Come on. I'm gonna kill I'm gonna kill him by the end of this game. I feel it. He's gonna die by my hand. Got some flaming arrows. What about regular arrows? Oh, alright, we're full. We have business in the lighthouse. Speak your mind, then leave us be. Yarikawa has plenty of warriors, if the walls haven't fallen. I put down the Yarikawa rebellion. Its people have no love for me. I know. I grew up there. Is that where you learned to steal? Yuna has great admiration. Oh, come on, people. Uncle. You're being kind of she a jackass. Be people to fight under your banner. Help Lord Sakai raise this army, and you'll be on the first transport to the mainland. With my brother. Wait for me in Old Yarikawa. Thank you, Chief. Oof. I sense some hostility. So when is my uncle going to start talking shit about her behind her back? He's going to be like, you want to kill her, Jen? I'll be like, no. Are you crazy? It's time we send our message. Stabbing yourself is the last sign that shows you still had some honor left. Really? The Khan sees hmm. this. He will. You will take back your castle, Uncle. And destroy the Mongols. As honorable samurai. Return home and claim your father's honor. Recruit the peasants of Yarikawa. I will petition the Shogun for reinforcements. All right, you didn't have to. Like I understand, we're an old timey, we're an old timey land, Uncle, but you didn't have to call them peasants. A pirate named Goro in a woogie cove owes me a debt. If he's alive, I'll find him. Bring him to me at our old hunting camp. We will meet again soon. Until then, travel safely. So the big
my lord. We freed a Mongol prisoner here. A warrior monk. He wants to speak with you. A warrior monk. A warrior monk. Oh man, those are some of the best classes in D&D. I played a shadow monk. Shadow monks were cool. So, uh, where is he? is he? Are you leading me to him? I'll be honest, I stopped listening to her after she said warrior monk. <laughs> I literally just stopped listening. Like, my ears just shut down. I said, oh, cool thing. Huh. Who's better, Assassin's Creed Valhalla or Ghost of Tsushima? I have yet to play Valhalla. I didn't buy it. The only game I bought, like... The only, like, PS5 game that I bought, even though you can buy Valhalla on, uh, the other stuff, was, uh... Demon Souls. My thanks to you and your That's the first time of me playing Demon Souls. I played Dark Souls before, but never played Demon Souls. Our warrior monks rode south to fight the Mongols after we heard about Komoda. I also wanted to buy Sackboy, but uh, as of right, Valhalla is a beautiful game, but it has bugs. I expect it. I mean, right now, the reason I didn't like jump to get Valhalla is because before Valhalla like came out. I uh I bought I bought all the games that I could for Assassin's Creed. Well, I didn't get them. I played I beat and played Odyssey, but I don't own Odyssey, and then I I beat and played Syndicate, but I don't own Syndicate. And I'm not counting the uh the Chronicle games. But um I was kind of just going through um the Assassin's Creed games. So I kind of burnt myself out when like Valhalla was coming out, especially with Odyssey. Odyssey just oh, killed me, man. I'm sorry, he's gone. He was a great warrior, an even better brother. The reason I picked up Ghost of Tsushima because I wanted like another. Well, I heard a lot of people were going crazy about the game, right? And, you know, I I looked, I saw a little bit here and there, tried my best not to spoil myself on anything. This is and then um, I was like, I can play another Sucker Punch game, you know. Since they're not ever going to make another Sly Cooper, sadly. <laughs> but they love referencing it in every game that they have. God, just make another Sly Cooper, God damn it! They ended it on a cliffhanger. You can't do that. You can't do that. Not only just a cliffhanger, but time travel, too. You can't do that. Let's stop here. But I was like, I can play an open-world samurai game. Now that Lord Shimura is free. Can't stand a parkour. I, yeah. I'm trying to remember. There was something in Odyssey that really like bugged me. Oh yeah, with the uh, parkour system in Odyssey, fucking, it just really bugs me that there was no sprint button. So I never knew if I was like running or just doing like a regular jog. It kind of bothered me. Um, the eagle is fine, but like. Every time I use the eagle, fucking it just, God, it just, it just took forever to like, you know, look for shit. And it's like, come on, man. Also, Odyssey's fun. I had to, I didn't get into Odyssey until like my second playthrough. It was the first time I tried to play it. Um, I just, the fucking, like how crazy they went with the gear mechanics just really bothered the fuck out of me. But that's because I was taking it like it was some other, like, some other type of games where you can just, you know, spread out your stats if you want to. So the second time I played Odyssey, I just put everything into, uh, everything into Assassin and then the secondary one being Warrior. And then Hunter I barely mess with. And that pretty much carried me through the whole game. Because, you know, it's kind of a pain in the ass when you're like, I'm going to assassinate this guy and do a stealth kill. And then it's like, oh, you're not powerful enough. Now you're forced to fight everyone in the camp. It's like, come on, man. It's kind of a pain in the ass. All right. Look at this dude playing games at 4 a.m. Yeah, man, it's my stream times. All right. Let's see. We have the whole other part of the island. Is there anything down here right now? No. So I just, I really just gotta like, like start traveling. Damn.
Kage, let's go. There you go, horse. Beautiful. Origins parkour. I didn't play Origins yet. I have Origins. I didn't play it yet because, again, Odyssey burnt. Like, I played... I bought the collections, so I played... I played two Brotherhood Revelations. Then after that, I was like, well, the three collections out. Let's play... Let's play fucking Liberations and goddamn three. Liberations fucking... Oh, man. Oh, God. I want it so much more for that game. Oh, you heading out? Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Hope you have a rest, lovely time of your day, evening, night. Night? Day? It's four o'clock. I don't, I don't know what to say. <laughs> It's 11 a.m. now. Shit. Wait. For real? <laughs> it's five for me. <laughs> it means we got like an hour left of stream time. Um. What the hell is this? Kotokan striking back by sending Mongol forces to raid the farmsteads. Man. Fuck the farmsteads. I love the farms, but, you know. <laughs> is that still loud? Oh my fucking god. I'm gonna lower that shit. I'm gonna lower it so down now. Thanks for the follow, by the way. <laughs> now I'm lowering it super down. There we go. Yeah, but I... After that, I played uh, 3 and Liberations. Replaying 3 was pretty fun. It was more fun than the first time I played it. Like I, re like, I did all the homestead missions, and I really liked it. I liked it more than the first time I played it. I don't know what the hell happened, but I just really, really liked it the second time going through. Um, Syndicate, of course, I really liked Syndicate. Syndicate was good to me. I know a lot of people got turned off because of the grappling hook, but it's like, if you don't want to use the grappling hook, then just don't use the grappling hook, right? <laughs> um, and then I didn't have Origins at the time, so I just went and played Odyssey. And there's a lot of good things, but there's a lot of things that really really fucking made me go crazy. Oh, I gotta, like, go around. Okay. That's what's going on. Mufasa, you're showing me the wrong way. <laughs> Let's see. He said, hold up, dude. I really do want to become famous. He's like, hold up. Really? Like you were you were deployed like recently, like just like just now. Oh, when you were deployed. My bad, I read that wrong. I I thought like you were getting like redeployed or something. I was like, what the fuck, really? <laughs> yeah, I bet she, I bet she really cherished those two hours. That's a nice way to spend your two hours of downtime. No. Call the family. Call the family and the and the people of Portance. Talk to them and be like, hey man, I'm still alive, letting you know. Come and fight. I love how that man just did a blood curdling stream. He has a knife in his hand, really? You're fighting me with a knife? I mean it's pretty badass and cool, but not effective right now. Oh, we definitely have stronger enemies. They're going full force. Ooh. Really? I couldn't parry that? Shit. What? Oh, I was so confused as to what was happening. They have... They have, like, little... He's setting his own friend on fire. Okay. Alright. They're like putting shit inside their weapons. Okay, fucking... What, what's the button for, uh... Wind stance? Damn it. Not fast enough. Damn it. Alright, well, shit. Took an arrow to the head and you're still alive.
Here we go. A lot of people think Shishima is one of the best games of 2020. Uh, I'm trying to... I actually... I think 2020 was the least... Was the game that I... The game. I can't even speak. God damn it. I think it was the year with the least games that I played. Like newer games and shit. So I'm, I'm trying to just go off of what I played. I played Shishima. I played Hades. Like newer games for me. Right, because I know there are people who are like, it's not a new game. Like how everyone's like, you know, Game of the Year awards, fucking, um, whatchamacallit. Uh, why can't I remember the name of the game? Fucking Among Us. It's like, that game's been out for two years, but people are counting it as a 2020 game, so, you know. It's a nice little fox. Show me the way. Out of my way, foxy. I mean, out of my way, horsey, not foxy. Uh, I'm really trying to think. Final Fantasy VII Remake was really good. I'm not. I'm not sure if I'll put that as my game of the year. Phoenix Wright, that is definitely up there for me. I just enjoyed a lot of it. This year was the first time I ever touched Phoenix Wright, so I really just enjoyed it, just for the writing and everything and the music. Last of Us Two is a. Uh, i am be honest, I didn't finish Last of Us 2. Once I got to Abby's part, it was just like... Like, it's not even the story that put me off. It was just... I guess it was the atmosphere of the story or something? I don't know. Like, I felt tired playing that game. Like, I couldn't even finish... Like, the only descriptor I can use when playing through that game is slogging through it. And I still haven't... Still haven't beaten it. And it's so weird, because... They were talking about it from a game standpoint, like, like, it's basically the same game with a little bit more bells and whistles, and it's not bad, I mean, it's more of something good, and I like the gameplay, but it's just, I guess just everything about it. Oh, are you headed out? Alright. See you later, if you feel like showing up later, I don't know, I can't, I can't control you or anything. But thanks for stopping by, though. It's appreciated. Where the fuck am I going, by the way? <laughs> yeah, but... Like... Last of Us 2 is such a difficult thing to talk about. And I'm not even saying it for, like, the obvious reasons that people want to point out. But, like... I remember when the game was coming out, I'm, like, not gonna lie. I was one of those people who were like, Alright, guys, calm down. Don't... You don't gotta go that crazy about the game and the story and stuff. Come on. Right? And, like, the people sending death threats and shit is like, relax, what are you doing? Like, you know, it's a little overboard, right? And, like, I did, I actually have a recording, I'm not sure if I still have it or not, I think I deleted it, because I, I wasn't gonna upload it. But I had a recording of, like, I wasn't gonna do a playthrough of the game on the channel or anything like that, but, um... But it's when the game came out and I bought it and it was just going to be the first hour of me playing the game. And in the beginning, I like in the beginning of the video, I just talked about like, listen, for the people who are going crazy about like Ellie being gay and stuff like that. First of all, I don't understand it mainly because it's like, all right, calm down. But second of all, it's like it's like we knew this already. I don't know why people are mad about it now. Mongol Eagles, what? Have eye in the skies. Eagles will see you. They'll be alerted. Oh, shit. And it's like... You know, it's just one of those things where it's like a lot of people are going crazy about some things that are unnecessary. Now, on the other hand, there were some things in Last of Us 2, just like the promo and stuff, that just kind of was weird. Like how they announced the game and they're like, yeah, don't you want to play this game about a girl, you know? When you see this woman getting her arm beat off with a hammer, and I'm like, uh, are you trying to make me like, I don't think that's the thing you should show off. And then there's the other stuff with like the story in the game. I'm not going to go too deep in it because I don't want to spoil it for people. All right. But there are some things that I will praise about it and other things that I will definitely give it shit on. But at the end of the day, me personally with Last of Us 2, I... It's a good game, but I just don't like it. That's just what it is. Like, there are some people who nitpick the shit out of it. Like, for example... 
there's some areas in the game where like you get chased by hordes of zombies and stuff right well not zombies infected and then there are people who kind of go crazy they're like where were these infected at like two seconds ago why did they just come out of nowhere it's like it's a video game calm down everything doesn't have to make perfect sense but like but it's like you know it's like there are definitely some things in the game that's like unnecessary but stuff like that is kind of like nitpicking unless a character literally came out the woodworks and said yeah fucking uh we made sure that we killed every infected in the area fuck off i am using the stone am i not using the stone stance oh, i'm using wind stance i didn't even notice i wish they would stop this is the most aggressive tutorial shit ever like not even a, it's not even a tutorial it's like the hint system in the game they literally stop you and they're like no fuck you like i know how the stone stance works I couldn't find an option in the menu to, like, cancel it, you know? Because the hint system is just really aggressive. Like, maybe I don't want to use the stance because I just don't like how it controls, right? Like, if I have to make the game more difficult for me over comfortability, I'll do that. It's like the people who play a uh, PC games with like a mouse in one hand and like a joystick in the other. It's like, yeah, you're insane, but hey, man, it makes you more comfortable playing the game. It makes you more comfortable playing the fucking game. There has to be enhanced combat cues, wind visibility, simplified controls, aim assist, projectile. Yeah, is there, is there straight up just, like, no option to be like, hey, game, shut the fuck up? Yeah, I don't think, I don't think there's an option to just tell them, like, stop with the hints, I get it. Alright. Like, <laughs> like, it's just, you know. It's so, it's so weird. I've never seen a game just like attack you with hints. Fucks up the flow of combat and everything, you know? It's like you're not playing, like it's literally, it's literally your friend coming out and being like, no, you're not playing it right. And like slapping the controller out of your hand. Ah, fuck. God, spears are so cool. Listen, I know everybody likes swords, but spears are like the most practical fucking weapon ever. It's just a long stick that you stab things with. That's why even when we made guns, we put fucking spears on them. <laughs> spears are so fucking good. They're more practical than a sword. Hold up, let me switch the water stance because he has a shield and the game will attack me if I don't. Where are you at? Where are you at, you son of a bitch? Shooting at me. Where are you? Where are you? Found you, you bitch. Now I'm the one with the arrow. You're not allowed up here. Ooh. Damn. Oh, 
Oh, fuck. Ah, shit. There we go. Damn. What do I think about the new movie Nobody? I didn't even... I didn't even know... What? Also, that, that was in slow motion for like a long time. Was I supposed to do something? I wasn't paying attention. Nobody? Was it like just announced or something? I never heard of it. I'm gonna look that up right now. Oh. Oh no, I saw a trailer for this. Yeah. It's one with the dad. And he's all like, who are you? I'm nobody. Right? Yeah, no, it looks cool. It, uh, it looks really fucking cool. I want to watch it. Like, there, there's a part of me that's just like, oh, here we go. Us Americans and our rough, gruff, tough dad doing it for the family. Right? But I mean, it's still good. We love it, right? Don't, you know, don't fix what's not broken, right? <laughs> So like it like the story seems it's going to be a little bit by the numbers but i mean that's all right it's fine i want to see it it's not going to stop me from watching that what the hell where are you leading me oh is that a hot spring over there i don't think it is i think that's just like a like a side quest or something Yeah, like I definitely want to see it too, because in the trailer it shows him, he's on the bus, right? I think he's on the bus, and like they're harassing an old lady or something like that, like some, you know, some kids from the hood, and he just fucks them up. <laughs> so I definitely want, I definitely want to see it. What's out there? The River Children, you're about to start a new tale, are you sure you want to proceed? I can I can come back later, right? I keep pressing the touchpad button like it's a fucking. I can fast travel here, can I? Yes, I can. All right, so yeah, I'll come I'll come back and I'll do that. Come on, Kage, let's go. God, I, like, thanks for reminding me about that movie, by the way, too, because I totally forgot that I saw the trailer for that. I really want to see it. Like, I, like, there are some times where I'll just, you know, I'll just call my friend up or he'll call me up and he'll be like, yo, you want to just head out to the movies and see something, right? Well, I mean, we can head out to the movies, but like, you know, social distancing and stuff like that. But, but like, um, I think the last time we, uh, well, the last time we did that, we saw My Hero, the second movie in, in um, uh, in theaters and IMAX, and then fucking, we were supposed to see the Sonic movie right after, but, but here's a fun story about that, fucking um, oh shit, someone's a hostage, oh fuck, I'll continue that story in a moment once I kill this dude, nope. Oh, fuck. You guys are really fucking me up here. You guys are, like, super fast. Holy shit. You guys are really fucking me up. Oh, my God. Fucking dog. Ah. Go me. Someone shooting arrows at me? I gotta get that dog. It's too dangerous. Sorry. Sorry, pupper. There we go. Ooh. Is that it? Are we done? Are we good? Cool. Damn, they were really...
kicking my ass. You'll be free soon. I can't poke that. That's why spears are good. Just fucking, just like Lord of the Flies me. Like all the kids just like stabbing the kid on the ground. <laughs> oh man, Lord of the Flies is such a great movie. I remember watching that as a child and like I was so confused. I was like, why are they beating his ass? What's going on? Because like, what was it? The One of the kids saw like the army guy who was like injured. And he did, he was like too scared, so he came running down the beach with like a fucking torch, and he's yelling "monster, monster!" And then the rest thought he was a monster, so they just run down with sticks and start stabbing him to death. Like, damn. Oh, uh, we had it on VHS, and my mom was just watching it, and then I just walked in the room and started watching it with her. That's not the only thing I was exposed. Like, I'm be honest, I hate like uh, the old Victorian dolls and and like all that shit because when i was a kid i went to you know you go to the laundromat with your parents and she was doing laundry and as she was doing laundry on the tv for no fucking reason in the laundromat chucky was just playing and i just sat down and i watched the whole movie as a child but it didn't dawn into me until like a day later a day later a day later where like the next day i was just like i just saw like a whole a whole doll massacred a bunch of people what the fuck and then I just became super scared. Like I didn't realize what I watched until later. And that's why I, that's why I hate shit like that. Like I'm a little I'm a little more used to it now, but like you know, it still gives me a little shivers. But yeah, um, me and my friend was supposed to go watch the Sonic movie. By the way, the reason I brought it up was because uh, we watched Atomic Blonde together, and that was such a fucking good movie. I don't know why the trailers kept going like, people call it the new 007. Like, alright, calm down. It's not that good. But, like, Atomic Blonde was really fucking good. Um. But, yeah, I went to go. Like, after My Hero, me and my friend were supposed to go watch a Sonic movie. And we didn't, because when we were getting the tickets for My Hero, uh, right before we left, you know, got 10 into the movies, we got stopped by, by two people right and you know they look like high school kids right and they stopped us and they said hey now right off the bat i'm looking at both of them i'm like i'm like these motherfuckers are like on a date or some shit so they're like hey listen sorry to bother you we came to watch the invisible man but it's rated r or whatever the fuck or rated mature or whatever the hell and then they're like we just need we just need people to like, you know, verify us so we can get the tickets and go in. And then, God, I'm getting shot. You guys are fucking me up. Stop trying to kill him. <sighs> you guys are fucked up. Damn it. Now where the fuck? Nice trade, bitch. God damn it. Alright, like I was saying before I got stabbed to hell. Um so like these two, you know, teens, they come up to me and my friend, right? And then, uh, they're like, we just need someone to, someone old enough to, like, let us buy the tickets and we'll go and whatever. And we're like, yeah, sure, why not? You know, we've been in the position before, right? So we get them the tickets, we get our tickets, we head to, head to tickets, uh, you know, the guy who rips the ticket and stuff. So, let me preface this, right? The movie theater we were going to, it's a movie theater at the, at one of the, um, shopping outlets that I do security for. So, I know how the fucking movie theaters work. And even before I did security for that shopping outlet, I used to work in that outlet at a different shop. So I know how the movie theater works, right? Um, well, at least how they operate there. So, legally, right, when you get someone, you know, 
I mean, get an adult to go in a movie with you, they're supposed to be there with you the whole time. But for the most part, they don't do that, right? They just go like, all right, you got the ticket going, whatever. But this, but this time, you know, the ticket ripper, that guy, you know, we hand him tickets and we're like, we're ready to go in, right? And he rips our tickets and he, like, just out of nowhere, because it's just one of those days where you look at the person and you're like, oh, you're not doing this because you care for your job. You're doing this because you just really want to be an asshole today. Um, so the dude stops him. He's like, he's like, whoa, hold up. Huh. I see what you guys are doing. Yeah, you can't go into different movies. You have to go and watch the movie with them. It's, it's the policy. And then I'm like... And then, you know, bo both the teenagers, because they know the shit don't go like that either. So both teenagers go like, what? And then my friend's just like, oh, man, really? And then me being the being the smart guy here, I just I just looked at the dude and I said, all right, no problem. All right, cool. So then I said, come on, let's go switch the tickets out. And then, and then you know, everyone's looking at me. They're like, oh, man. First of all, teenagers are like, dude, we're so sorry. We don't we don't want you to, like, miss your movie or anything like that. And my friend's like, my friend's like, he's like, no, it's fine. I guess we'll watch it with you. And then as I'm walking to the ticket booth, I just stop them both. And I'm like, oh, no, we're not watching a movie with you. I'm just going to go switch out the tickets for Invisible Man. And by the way, don't don't sneak into your theaters. Hey, disclaimer, don't do that. Um, But this one was this was justified because I already paid the price for the movie I wanted to watch. All I was doing was switching it out for a ticket of a different movie. So I still paid to see my movie, right? Um, so I said, no, we'll just go switch our tickets out. And then we're just going to walk out and go into our correct movie. Because fuck that, right? That's exactly what we did. Now, my friend, he's a little bit of a goody two-shoes, right? Now, I don't steal or anything like that. But I have been in the ghetto, so I, so I know when it's time to do a quick little side hustle. But he was worried the whole time. He's like, dude, we're going to get caught, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, dude, don't worry about it. The more suspicious you act about it, the more they're going to look at you. But also, nobody cares besides that one dude. <laughs> and I was like, it doesn't matter anyways because, you know, I, I do security for the place. So if they want me to do my job tonight correctly, motherfucker let me in my movie, right? <laughs> so we went there. Same ticket ripper guy ripped us all. We went into the Invisible Man, right? Now, in order to make it, you know, look look real enough so that the one jackass wouldn't, you know, be a jackass. Fucking, I was like, all right, we're going to go into the Invisible Man, sit down for like 10 minutes because our movie doesn't start until 10 minutes after the Invisible Man. And we're just going to walk out and go watch my hero, watch our anime bullshit. And then the movie for Invisible Man will still have like 20 minutes left or whatever. We'll go back in, watch the movie finish it with the uh with the two kids and walk out with them so that's exactly what we did it was great it was amazing also never fully watched the invisible man but i can say without a shadow of a doubt fucking where the hell am i even going i'm just moving i'm not even thinking where the hell am i <laughs> all right yeah i can say without a shadow of a doubt that like hey invisible man is a good ass fucking movie it has great sound design. What's really amazing about it is that once we finished My Hero and we went into The Invisible Man for the last 20 minutes of the movie, the movie is so damn good that we didn't have to watch the full movie to understand what the fuck was going on. The last 20 minutes of the movie really, like, really just went like, here's what's going on, here's a nice recap, fucking, here's the main issue. Like, I understood the whole thing of the movie. And it was great every step of the way. It was amazing. Like, I need to watch it. Like, uh, I think The Invisible Man was one of the first movies that, uh, that, um, that, like, streaming services were, you know, being like, hey, you can watch the movie day one streaming service because COVID. If you want to. I think The Invisible Man was definitely one of those. I think it was, like, one of the first ones, actually. But, like, dude, I need to sit down and watch that full movie because it's so damn good. And just seeing that, it makes me so, like, disappointed that the, um, that, what, what is it called? The, uh, the dark cinematic universe 
remember when they were going to be like the mummy and werewolf and invisible man and all that stuff. The thing that they say they're not doing, but they're still kind of doing. It's like, I'm kind of disappointed that they're not officially still being like, yeah, we're doing that. Because the Invisible Man was so fucking good. It was so good. What am I doing here? Search for... Oh, search for a cove. Is it that thing that I just ran past? But yeah, if you haven't seen the Invisible Man, god damn it, go watch that movie. Halt, Ronin. State your business. I'm not a Ronin. My name is Jin Sakai. The samurai? Lady Sanjo will want to see you. She's in charge of a movie cove. Please, come with me. Still pissed off that Blade is about- Me too, man. This way, my lord. Me too. You speak to the lady. Like, I'm just waiting. I'm waiting for them to be like, and here's Blade. Like, they need to do something. I'm pretty sure that their What If series that they're gonna do. By the way, that comic line of What If stuff was really, was really good for Marvel back when. Um... But I'm pretty sure at some point in the What If series, they're going to be like, yo, Blade, though. Right? They have to. You can do anything with the... Very recent. What the hell is this? Oh, just like paint and dyes? Oh. If you can bring more, it's yours. Surf and strike pet man. Slytherin. Yeah, but I, I definitely want Blade to, like, show up. But the question is how, like, Blade, Blade is weird. <laughs> Blade is so weird for Marvel because it's like, you know, it's in Marvel and you can get him in there. But at the same time, it's like, it just feels like a different fucking universe, right? It's like how, uh, how, like, whenever you watch X-Men, you're just like, I get that you're part of the MCU, well, not part of the MCU yet, but I get that you're part of Marvel and everybody, you know, Spider-Man hangs out with Wolverine from time to time, but at the same time, you sit there and you go like, how come people like Captain America and uh, Hulk and stuff, but, uh, well, maybe not Hulk, some people like Hulk, other people's don't. Let, let's do a different one other than that. Uh, Thor, how come people like Thor and fucking Captain America and... And Iron Man and Spider-Man and, you know, and all these motherfuckers, but everyone hates mutants. It makes no sense. It's like, it's like, those superheroes are fine. Vision? Yeah, he's totally cool. Wanda? Eh, she, man, she, she, eh, she's all right. Some Americans don't like her. You know, at least in the, theory, you know, at least in the universe of them. They're like, eh, she's cool. Quicksilver? Cool. But mutants? Nah. Well, I mean, Wanda and Quicksilver are mutants, by the way. Shit. <laughs> but they're like, mutants, though? Nah. Spike? We can't have that. He's a mutant and he's black. <laughs> oh, man. My boy Spike. I love him. What am I doing here? Am I supposed to go upstairs? What am I doing? What's my follow the guard and meet lady? Where the fuck is she? Are they over here? Is this them? Are, are these you guys? Nope. Are you upstairs? I think he went upstairs. He did go upstairs. All right, cool. I lost. I, I forgot what I was doing. I kept talking, kept running my mouth. Wouldn't shut up. Lord Sakai, this is Lady Sanjo. Welcome to Umu. Hi, Lady Sanjo. I see the Mongols haven't found this place. Gotta wake up for work in the morning. That's fine. There hasn't been Stream's gonna end in like probably Anyone like thirty minutes or so. Answers to my men. Maybe like one or two more missions. So long as you abide by that well, That's fine. You gotta head out. Head out. I just appreciate you know you taking your time, sitting down, talking. It's cool. I'm looking for a smuggler named Goro. Also, for the whole week, I'm gonna um. Interesting. He's it's just gonna be Ghost of Tsushima this whole week because I want to get this done before we enter into February so that nothing gets in the way of like the other two games that I want to stream. I think we can help. And then. I said it before, but Vampire the Masquerade is gonna move over to the channel because they they tuck they tuck away one of the resolution options for some reason. And if I'm gonna stream it, it's gonna look terrible, and I don't want to do that. I rather have it look nice and you know let it be a recorded playthrough than live stream it and have it look terrible, right? So so that's gonna move over to the channel, and we're just gonna finish up Ghost of Tsushima hopefully this week. That's what I plan on doing anyways. 
And then next week, when we get to Valentine's, we're going to be, you know, doing the two new games. Well, the two new, the one new game, Clonade, because I said I was going to do Clonade for Valentine's. And then, um, and then, do 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 uh, Corpse Party, because we're still doing Corpse Party. Old sucker. The samurai are all dead. I'm very much alive, but my patience is dying. Lord Shimura asks that you repay your debt to him. He's alive? What does he want? To deliver a message to the mainland. Uh, I charged a lot for that trip, even before the Mongol blockade. You owe my master a debt. This will repay it. Then I have no choice. Or he will kill me, cause my, cause Shimura is the true this. villain. I thought my debt to Lord Shimura was erased. That's why I was drinking. To celebrate your escape. To mourn the samurai. Those warriors died protecting men like me. Hmm. Mm. If that's how you feel, find your courage. Help us avenge them. We need a lot more samurai to do that. We'll receive them. Bitch, I'm Samurai enough for all of it. I've been watching Samurai Jack for the longest time. I know everything. This is my home. <laughs> Come in. This is my home. Come in. Closes the door in front of you. Won't be easy. Do you have Lord Shimura's message? He has it. At his camp on the Akashima coast. Ah. I can work with that. One of my boats is hidden. Do you have Lord Shimura's message? No, I don't have his message, but he has his message. You just gotta go talk to him. Then it's not a message. It's a summon. Ooh, hidden smuggling boat. Nice. Alright, Han Solo. We're not leaving until you pay us what you owe. Shit. Oh deal. Oh come on, I don't I don't wanna kill these guys. See you in Akishima, Lord Sakai. There's no use hiding, Goro. I didn't call for Ronin. Uh, my lord, what's your business with Goro? Private. We'll... we'll be back. Has anyone seen your daughter? What's wrong? My daughter's missing. I haven't seen her in days. Could she have run away? She wouldn't do that. Please, find her. My mother was like you. Would stop at nothing to keep me safe. Then you understand. Where did you see her last? At the dojo. I left early. She said she'd catch up, but she never came home. I'll do what I can. So you just left your kid by herself? Eh. Well, let's, let's have benefit of the doubt, right? Maybe she's not a little kid. I if she'd remember the girl. Who let a dog into the dojo? Why is it so fucking misty in here? Oh my god. Meet with Lord Shimura. So, wait, what? No. What was I doing? Mother's missing her daughter. There we go. Escape disappearance. There we go. Do you know a girl by the name of Kuma? The merchant's daughter? Yeah, I know her. Haven't seen her in days, though. I need to find her. Days? Damn, dude. Hmm. What about you? What do you know, sir? I need to find a girl named Kuma. <laughs> I don't know anyone's name. And I don't want to. Leave me be. All right. Thanks for the help, jackass. I'm looking for a girl named Kuma. Girls, boys, chickens. I have it all. For the right price, call them what. Excuse me? Fool. Oh? What the fuck just what? The hell that man just say to me? I 
I'm sorry. Hey, warrior, over here. Yeah, I saw you peeking your fucking head over the corner. You know Kuma. Yes, but we can't talk here. Follow me. All right. I knew it was too good to be true. Something's wrong. Her mother hasn't seen her in days. Is she dead? Did someone die? Kuma is a friend. Last I saw her, she was leaving with a man who promised her a job. What kind of job? Running an inn. She wanted to earn some money for her mother. Made me promise not to spoil the surprise. Where's the inn? Numanaka Inn, up the main road. Okay. Aw, oh, man, don't tell me that. Oh man. I'm not trying to run into no type of smuggling ring here. There was once much more. Storyteller, let me go talk to him. Oh wait, Legends Mode. Never mind, fuck it. I forgot. Legends Mode is a thing and then there's like... People who tell stories that can help you find like items and shit. I really hope I'm going the right way. Kill who? Kill me? Oh! Ah, oh, fuck. Ow. Ow. Whoa. Hey, 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 you watch where you're swinging that. attack. What the hell is that about? Couldn't do this without you both. Am I running the right way? Alright. Is that a fucking bear? Oh god. I'll run him, Kage. Don't let him catch me. Field of the Equinox flower. Oh, that's nice. It's a nice. It's a nice little misty field. Run him over. Damn it. Am I being chased down? Ah, oh, it's a haiku. Uh, yeah, I got time for a haiku. Why not? Can I? How do I interact with this? What the hell? Does it say I'm in? The, no. Am I being chased? No, he put his he put his weapon away. How do I What? Don't you usually interact with things with R2? Am I crazy? It's not working. Yeah, I can interact with my horse. Okay. Get off my horse. Haiku time. Ha haiku time. Ha haiku time. Ha ha 
haiku, haiku time. I don't, I don't get it. What the fuck? All right, it's just, it's just not working. I don't, I don't know what to do. Standoff, okay. Alright. I'll deal with you honorably. I fucked that up. He scared me. This was supposed to be an ambush, huh? C collect the damn thing. What the hell? What do I even use supplies for? Let's go, Kage. There's the town. Okay. I'm gonna walk into some type of smuggling ring. Come on, should be here. Uh who the hell is trying to Alright. like a nice little like Oop. no you saw nothing how do you survive that Come on! And the mist dissipate. Oh, this is the end. This can't be the end. Looks ransacked. Found you. Please. Oh. 
going to do it. He never wanted to hurt anyone. So what did they force you to do? Forced you to do what? Rob people. They made me wait on the roadside, calling for help. Most people would stop. Some wanted to help. Others. It's over now. Let's get you home. Oh, at least that's not as bad as I thought it would be. Lead her to safety. Okay. Let's get out of here. I murdered everyone here. Honorably, of course. I never dishonored a single person. Does this count as safety? Are we safe now? 100 meters away. Wait, which way am I going? I'm heading this way. Wait, what? Like, is there a horse somewhere that she can get on? Like, stables? Oh, there we go. Just the entrance way, okay. Foolish. Surrender, and you can live. Girls, boys, chickens. I had the Damn, it was this dude. Like price. Call them whatever you like. Time to end this. Damn, dude. You didn't even put it as much of a fight as Ryozo, right? Because that dude put up a good fucking fight. I'm glad I could help. How did you find us? I followed you. Saw you talking to that Ronin. After you left, I approached him myself. That was brave. Ronin are dangerous, unpredictable. Nothing compares to the fear of losing your child. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. A thief of innocence. Damn. Charm of ferocity. Nice. Okay. Let me check the time. Yep. So it is about that time where we end the stream. Now, I uh, I have nothing to say because I already said I already said what I had to say earlier, early in the stream, like a couple minutes earlier, about what the plan is for this week. So next stream, just more Ghost of Tsushima. Going to be doing that all week until we beat the game. After that. You know, moving on to the stuff for February. Um, I just hit my microphone. What else is there? I don't think there's anything else I really need to say right now, so... You know, for everyone here on Twitch, thank you for coming down. Thank you for watching live. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you for watching the VODs if you watch the VODs. Um, for people on YouTube, thank you to you too right for watching everything like that you know if you want to come and watch it live description for twitch is in you know it's all down there 
in the description and stuff. Same thing with Twitter. If you feel like following, uh, following me, I I don't know if you want to or not. But other than that, if you are subscribed, uh, click the bell for notifications. If you're not subscribed, think about it. And that's pretty much it. So, as always, I like to say thank you once again, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care.